Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome to Game Tech UK, welcome to Tuesday evening, it's always racing on the channel on a Tuesday evening, it could be anything, it could be PC racing, PlayStation racing, it could be Xbox racing, it could be F1, Ultima Ballista, iRacing, tonight is Gran Turismo. Um, if you're a regular on the channel, you'll know on Friday on PC racing um, using Ultima Ballista 2, we did a bar first 24. So not 24 hours, of course, not this time. Um, 24 laps, and it was great. We had two sessions of 24, um, and I said what I'm going to do is on Tuesday tonight, I'm going to replicate that for those that don't race on PC and want to race with me on Gran Turismo. So although we can't do the dynamic time of day, we can do everything else. We can pick the Porsche. It's going to be a Porsche only race. So everyone's in the RSR uh, 911. It's going to be a Porsche 24 laps around uh, Mount Panorama. So yes, th let's do it. Let's bloody do it. I've got a fingerprint on my glasses. How are you all? Hopefully you enjoyed the stream this afternoon. I really did actually. I, I really enjoyed that. It was um, a good bit of racing this afternoon. Nice, nice clean. I was quite pleased with my racing, even though we, we went down on the rating. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. We're used to it. Um, I've got Spectate Cam on there for you tonight as well. So, um, yeah, I've got Spectre... Oh, I've just put me uh, motion seat on. That's no good. <coughs> yeah, he can do one melody. Yeah, just ban him straight away. He's a knob. Um, so, yeah, I have got Spectate Cam on there for you. Uh, let me have a look and make sure I can actually work that. That's it. So, um, yeah, we have got Spectate Cam on for you tonight. Let me have a look and make sure it's all good. Been a long time since I've done this one. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, we've got two views for you tonight. Those views will swap over, so you'll have a minute on, um, actually you'll have two minutes on this sort of replay external um, view, just because it looks so good. Look at that, it's amazing, isn't it, considering how old the game is as well. And then the screen, the screen will um, transfer to a full image of my interior, that'll be for one minute. So you've got one minute of interior, two minute of external, the idea being is that we can see other people in the race as well. So yeah, um, how are you all? Let me just uh, let me just go back to there while we read some lovely names out. Hopefully you've left me a little cheeky like. It doesn't cost anything. Um, it's totally free and it really does help out. We have got Jordan, Melody. We've got Chris, Joseph Adams. We've got Glenn, uh, Simon. Just uh, pre-ordered me. Oh, what? There's Gran Turismo 7, Simon. Um, Heavy Metal, how are you? Yeah, it was nice to have you in, Heavy. Hello, Umar. How are you? Uh, we've got David Finney. We've got Carl Hopwood, Ben, Beyond, Tyler. We've got Carl Original, Joshua, David Gold. We've got David Finney, Steve Blanzier. Yeah, lovely to have you all in. So we're going to do two of these, um, two 24-lap races, and then I'm going to come back um, with something else. Maybe Grand, uh, maybe um, GTA? Um, something. We'll see. Something. Not sure what, but yeah, we'll, we'll do two races like we did uh, like we did on Friday night on the PC. Hello, Mark. How are you? And then we'll do that. Right, okay. Let's, um, let's go. So we've got a full lobby. I did open up the lobby just before the stream. We've got one space if anyone wants to come in. Um, but yeah, everyone's got the Porsche 911 RSR. Even though it's on Spectate Cam, I have stayed with the original livery because I love the livery of the RSR. Um, I'm getting this game on PlayStation 4. Oh, nice, Simon, nice. Um, GTA 5 online? No, I've done that already, uh, Brighton. Yeah, did that when I was streaming on Twitch. Right, okay. Um, yeah, Umar, yeah, very well, thank you. Right, we've got seven minutes of qualifying. As I always say, don't exit out of the qualifying because it will chuck you out the entire race. So, say, for example, you crash drive around to the pits and then do it there hello kazanar how are you hey my lovely wife's in everyone say hello to my uh my lovely wife she doesn't come in that often but when she does i love it and she's left me a cheeky like i will give you one later give you one back uh, give you a like later <laughs> right okay that's uh oh that was a bit weird right let's do that oh god look at the spectate cam what's going on there that's weird, isn't it? Let's come out of there, actually. Oh, fucking hell. I've just done it myself, haven't I? I've just... Have I just done it myself? Oh, no, no, it seems to be alright. <laughs> I've just done it myself. Oh, God. Oh, what a cock. Uh, we might be alright. Uh, uh, it's still saying that 
we're in. <clears throat> you did promise to make an appearance, yeah. Um, maybe I am in. Maybe I am in. I thought if you exited, exited out of the qualifying, it, it kicked you out, but obviously not. What's a wanker? I know, I know. And I'm putting off doing your essay. Well, you could do an essay on me. You, you could do one, you know, I don't know what. I told Kaz about the, um, are you my wife comment earlier, Melody, by the way. <laughs> oh, how she laughed. Well, I think I'm still in. I think I am. If not, we just have to all come out and do it again. Right, this is my outlap, so I'm just going to put this controller down. No, I'm not actually, because we've got to do it for the race, haven't we? Oh, I'm all fingers and fingers and thumbs tonight, aren't I? Is that why she's in the sort? Yeah, no, no. Max says, Max says to her, you never come in the stream. Is spectator cam still fucking about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, that's all right. Should be fine. Should be fine. That's it. Right, that should be fine. No, I did it myself. Yeah, no, that's good. Right, I think we can relax now. I can hopefully put in a decent lap. Yeah, Batman, day's good. It's all good. Right, I just need to concentrate here just for... Um, yeah, I didn't touch it from earlier, Melody. It was all exactly the same. Hello, Rusty. How are you? You're not coming in tonight. We have got another race after this. Right, it's put me tenth. We don't want that. We definitely don't want that. Yeah, you can. Game type. Yeah. It works totally fine with the PlayStation 5. Two 24 lap races, yeah. I'm not doing a new lobby, so if you want to jump in now, there is a space, Rusty. Then um, you can just leave it, can't you? You can just leave it sitting there. I'm not doing a new lobby because um, the spectate cam. But like I say, there is a space. If you want to come in and do the second one, you're more than welcome to do that. Yeah, two 24 lap races, then I think um, we'll do some GTA tonight, a late night GTA. Yeah, no worries, Captain, you're welcome to come in any time. I've just got a feeling that this isn't going to work for me because I, I pressed exit on the qualifying. We'll see, we'll, we'll see as we go over the finish line if Pivers would get out of the fucking way. <laughs> oh, you got F1. Oh, lovely, Rusty. Oh, that would be great to have you on there. Yeah, that would be well cool. Right, see what it says as I go over. Okay, maybe it is working. It's got me a fourth. Gonna kick some ass tonight. <laughs> you need to see me get destroyed. Did you see the video that was posted about that? What the fuck? 24 quid, that is a bargain, Rusty, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> both of Jason wives are in, Matt. <laughs> there is only one. There's only one Mrs. Game Tech. <laughs> I can't afford two. Bloody hell. I don't think so, Clark Little. No, I think I don't think we'll get a beater, no. <laughs> He's basically just clipped my stream and put it on his bloody video. 
of me just chatting away. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll hide him. He's very, very excitable, wasn't he? Fucking hell. Hello Austin, how are you? So tomorrow night is the member stream. We're going to go uh, trucking tomorrow. Have you in chat. You're more than welcome to come in and have a chat. A couple of hours on there, be lovely. Be doing the giveaway. It's all good. I don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, during the day, I must carry on with some decorating, but I might do a little cheeky news video. You never know. You never know. But I will be streaming in the evening for the members. Put me seventh. Seventh, not a problem. Yeah, no Red Bull, bloody hell, no. Okay, I've got to remember how to do this now, haven't I? Hello, Mick, how are you? Thank you everyone for coming in. Please leave me a little cheeky like. Other than that, just relax. Watch two 24 lap um, races tonight. Then I'll be coming back with some GTA 4. No Discord, Captain. No. No, just here. Just here and Twitter. P5's alright, Max. It's going to be crazy turn one anyway. I'm not even going to do the usual. Oh, let's take it easy. On t I'm just not even going to say it. Fuck it, you know. Maybe if I don't say it. <laughs> a bad truck is no actually heavy on the um on the member stream we don't do any crashing it's on the other normal ones we do crashing i think when we do public um convoys i'm gonna put um what's it called what's it called um collisions i'm gonna turn collisions off <laughs> fuck it go crazy no no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying let's uh, let's not bother saying it because uh, yeah. All right, let's put that there. Just waiting for everyone to finish. Hello, PJ. How are you? I don't think I've seen you this year yet, have I? You can have whatever times you want, Mondeo. Oh, that's cool, guys. I know, George, yeah. Oh, nice, Ben. <laughs> I know, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Going on about how he destroyed me. I wasn't even racing him. I wasn't even racing him. Hello, Porter. Hello, Quicko. How are you, PJ? Hopefully you're, um, you're all happy and sorted. <laughs> Yeah, but who doesn't adore My Little Pony? You know? Right, here we go. Finally. Right, okay, so let me just do this, because I've got to do this quickly. <coughs> cross-platform, cross-gen, you mean? Uh, what number was I? Quick, what number was I? Quick, what? Oh, I'm seven, five, six, seven. Bosh. Oh, God, here we go. Full start. Fucking hell. Because I'm trying to sort out the fucking spectate cam. Oh, God. Right, here we go. Fourteenth. Right, back to the front challenge. I ain't even got a problem with that because I can do that. What a knob. I know, he wasn't even A-class, I know, I know. Right, it's fine, I'll, I'll make my way through. Oh god, what's happening with this oh, fucking spectate cam? It's all going wrong tonight, isn't it? It's all going bloody wrong. 
<laughs> I'm gonna die laughing. What the fuck? Look at that! Now the last time that happened was, do you remember when I was doing the um, 1v1 with Codus? Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, that's no good, is it? Fuck me. Race cam has left the room. Yeah, of course it has. Oh, fuck's sake. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to try and do this whilst racing. This is what I had to do when I was racing Codus. Luckily, I'm really good at multitasking. So please don't, no one else join the room, please, because it, it needs a space for me um, to get the, the cam back in. Please don't join the room. Luckily, I'm good at this. No, if that's someone joining, can you please come out? No, Rusty, uh, well, just try it for two seconds. Um, oh, fuck's sake. <sighs> this is unbelievable. What a disaster. Still not last. Come on, is it working or what? What's happening with the bloody spectate cam? Jesus Christ, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Right, here we go. Okay, press that. Press that. Press that. Press yes. Why am I not last after that? Um, after that, bloody hell. Right, Rusty, now if there's room, please come in. Oh, I've got some work to do now, haven't I? Talk about a challenge. Once we get in, we'll be alright. I don't know why it's taking so long. Maybe it's got a poor connection or something. I shouldn't be temp though, should I, with this? Shouldn't be temp at all. Yeah, something uh, doesn't like something, does it? Still not in, bloody hell. That might need a restart. Good old Gran Turismo. I think there's obviously some kind of lagging problem going on somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, missed you being in, PJ. Hopefully you're, uh, you're sorting your, your bits and bobs out. Hopefully you're all good. Hope the kids are well. Um, do I just let it load for a minute? Can't believe I'm not last though. You wouldn't believe how distracted I am at the moment. <laughs> right, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to come here. No, no, it is going well. I ain't worried about that. I can. These are just challenges in life, mate. It is going well. I'm going to restart the PlayStation 4. No, it is going well. I'm still ninth. I'm still going to do all right. Hello, Park. How are you? We're just going to have to restart and do all of that again. But I can do that. We can do that. Hello, Tommy. Yeah, not at the moment, mate. It's not going brilliant at the moment. <laughs> It is a good thing I'm good at multitasking. That is something I can do. Even though I am so distracted at the moment. But once once we get in, I think with a restart it will be totally fine. Once we get in and I get the camera set up and we settle down.
That's good, PJ. That's good, mate. Oh, dear. <laughs> to let you know you was back on. Back on what? How are you still racing? Yeah, yeah, it's all good. This is the practice one. We might be having free tonight and no GTO. We'll see. See how we get on. Max is doing well in second. I'm <laughs> showing off now. <laughs> right, we've got a nice straight coming up, so I should be able to deal with this. Okay, that fucking hell. Right, let's use the mouse to go to. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. This is really hard. It, it, it <laughs> this is really hard to do this. What a fuck up. Should we start again? Should we start again? I can't even get on the fucking road. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Give, me, give myself a bloody chance. Let's do it like that. <sighs> Yeah, but who hasn't got... I don't mean to be horrible, Martin, but who hasn't got a, a constant internet connection these days? I'd like to start again, but the lads are already racing, aren't they? I'm last now as well. Yeah, but who hasn't, Martin? Seriously, you know? What's happened with yours? Do you just plug it in when you need it, or...? I can't believe this, is, this has happened. It's not good, is it? What about if everyone waits for me? What, what about that? What about if we all bunch back together? Right. Right, now we can race. What a fucking disaster. Yeah, call the safety car out. If everyone wants to slow down up the front, so we all bunch up, what do you reckon? Do you reckon as a community we could do that? Starting with Ben and going down to Max and Hans and Glenn, do you reckon we could all just sort of roll together? And then Ben can control. Oh, I'll tell you what, what about this? Ben can control, we all get together like a safety car. Ben is the safety car, all right? No one overtake Ben and no one overtake the person in front of you. Let's see if we can actually do this. Let's see if we can do it. And then Ben will have control. Let's do a, let's do a, let's do a safety lap. Right? Get together, Ben. Max, don't pass Ben. Hans, don't pass Max. Glenn, don't uh, pass Hans. Let's see if we can do it. And we'll do a safety lap. And then Ben will have control over this line. What do you reckon? What do you think? I bet they don't do it. <laughs> I can see Ben and Max up there. You must be able to hear me, lads. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, you won't uh, great because this, the race has started, isn't it? No, I don't think they're going to do it. Come on, you F1 fans up the front. Nah, they're not. They're not. It's fine. Let's get going. <laughs> Michael! Michael! I thought that could have been fun, actually, doing a little safety car lap. Oh, they might be, you know. No, they might be. I think that's... Oh, no, Max is ta overtaken, isn't he? Yeah, okay. Right, okay, so Ben did. Right. Max, get but get back behind Ben. Okay. Yeah, r r um, go back, Max. I know you can hear me. <laughs> I 
Right, I'm going to type in the chat. <sighs> this is a disaster, but it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> It's not that I don't want them to wait for me. I just want to make the race more interesting. That's all. I'm not, ask, I'm not asking um, people to wait for me as such. I'm just going, you know, as a community race with, you know, 19 laps. Let's, um, let's give it a go. Okay, so. Right, bunch up. So Ben should be in the lead. That's it. I think Max has probably got the stream on now. So that's why he's gone back. Hands, you need to... Um, that's it. That's it. This is good. This is community. This is community. So we've got 9th, 10th, 11th. We need to speed up a little bit though, uh, lads. Now this is working. This is working now. This is community actually happening. Alright, catch up. Um, who's that? Uh, Zillabang. Uh, you catch up to the, the lads. Hans needs to, um, needs to relinquish to Ben. Ben needs to be ahead. If someone wants to type that, this is just an experiment, really, as a as a community that to get back in. I'm still happy to be last. I don't mind that. No, Hans isn't. No, where where is he? Um, right, I'm going to press that. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where How do you spell yield? Um, yield? Is that right? That's not right. Okay. Okay. So, hands yield to Ben. Come on, we can do this. This is this is. Um, I like this experiment. See whether we can actually do it. Okay, so you're gonna have to slow. Oh, I did it the wrong way around. No. So slow right down. Ben, slow them up if you can. They're not listening. Hansel is like, look, I've got the fucking lead. I'm having it. It's quite interesting, just from a community point of view, to see whether we can actually do this. And we're gonna have a full safety lap as well, if we can ever fucking catch them up. Is Hans slowing down there? Yeah, someone's slowing up. That's it. Right, so Hans can hear it now. Ben needs to be in the front. Then ones that are pitted. Good strategy. <laughs> no, that's fine. They're all waiting. Right, slow down and wait for us. This is good. This is really good. I'll tell you when to go. Go on the map. Go, um... Yeah, I did do map. Right, slow down, lads, because otherwise we're not going to be able to catch you. Just slow right down. Literally two miles an hour. Right, so Ben's there. Ben's got control. Ben, wait for us, because we want to do it over the, the finish line, don't we? And there's people behind me still yet to catch up. This is good, actually. I like this. This is fun. And the spectate cam seems to be all right now. We've only wasted seven laps. It's all good. Right, slow right down at the front. Right down. In fact, stop if you want. St just stop. And then we can all race together. Ben will be in charge of uh, the line, just like in F1. But if we if we leave it too long, then it'll already be over the line, won't it? <laughs> Destroy him! Yeah, that's it. Oh, this is happening now. That's it. This is happening. Okay. Ah, oh, this is fucking. This is what community's about. Yes, I had a few issues, but look, we're so. Oh yeah, here we go. 
This is it. This is it. Okay, perfect, lads. Well done. Thank you very, very much. Right, wait for the others. And Ben will have the full power. Ben, do not pass Ben until the start finish, all right? I'm not making up the rules, no. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. We've got none. No, what the fuck? No pivots. No, get back. Oh, there's always a couple, isn't there? Always a couple. No, we're not waiting for you lot. No, just get to the back. Come on. Come on, get back where you were. That's it. Right, Ben's in control. Do not pass Ben until the start finish, alright? He's in control of this. And let's, let's go racing. Let's go motor racing. This is good. Thank you very much. Now we can really relax now and just enjoy the rest of this. And hopefully that was a bit of fun to watch, trying to get us all together. Right, Ben has got um, full control. Unless he's going in the pits. <laughs> no, that's fine. Right, let's go motor racing. Right, let's do it. Go. Now we're racing. That was nice. That was very nice of you, lads. I appreciated that. Just through uh, stream chat, that was that was quite the organisation, wasn't it? There you go. That flashes for you. Right, let's go. And I'm fifth. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's how to do it. But I think a few people went into their pit, didn't they, to do their pit strategy? So that's all good. <laughs> that one worked out quite nice, didn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. What a shenanigans that was. Yeah, that's the sort of thing we get here, you see, because we're not, we, you know, we, we might not be like true professional sim racers. There's other channels for that. But what we are about here, as demonstrated there, was just community, really. Community racing, people wanting to have a bit of fun together, that's it. We've got nothing to prove and nothing to lose, nothing to gain, we're just playing together. I do love it when a plan comes together. I, I, I thought it was futile to start with, but it started to gain momentum, didn't it? <laughs> So some people have already pitted, that's fine, they're on their own strategy now, they had that choice, didn't they? What a lovely car this is as well. That's fine, this is happening now, all the strategies is coming into play. Uh, we don't want that. That's fine. Maybe, Louis. Yeah, maybe. Right. Finally, we're bloody racing. Got two cameras for you, two PlayStations, so we're spectating the race live. So hopefully that should look cool for you. Um, over 200 in. Thank you very much. Please leave me a little cheeky like. Other than that, just chill out and relax and uh, hopefully enjoy the racing. Here we go. We're going to be doing this exact race straight after this as well. So um, I'm not sure if there is space in the lobby. For Feel free to come in if there is and just wait. I won't be doing a new lobby because I've got the the other PlayStation in there. For the proper race, what do you mean the proper race? Mm. 
So we're probably going to have to pit a couple of times in this race, aren't we? So, um... Oh! That's not a problem. Balls. To be honest with you, I don't know why I didn't take tyres. That was a very silly mistake. I was thinking, well, most of it was done just parading around. Um, that's fine. Hmm. Look at the old spectate cam, though. Love it. <laughs> Hopefully that all works in exactly the same way for GT7 as well. I mean, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Hello, Hunt. How are you? I said Hunt. What's wrong with mate? I call everyone mate. So, Fair Dinkum is in the lead at the moment. Yeah, it means friend. <laughs> you what, mate? <laughs> Hello, Beard. How are you? Oh, my goodness, you've missed the shenanigans tonight. Do I remember how you was racing? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. Fucking hell, do I? Wow. <laughs> This feels slippy, isn't it? I'm going to have to pit. I should have got the tyres. Fucking hell. Right, pull it together, Jason. Pull it together, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no, nah, nothing bad, Beard. No, nah, just... Um, the, spect the spectate cam kept fucking up. So, uh, we had to bunch everyone together and do a, um, a, a safety car. It was really good, actually. I know you were, Joseph. Are you better now? That's all right, though. You were still welcome. I mean, you was just a beginner, weren't you? You, you know, you, that's the way it is, isn't it? What's a mess of a first race? Super softs, please. <laughs> that apple lad, no. That's a cuck. Look at the state of me bloody car. Scrapes all over it, look. Right, 11th new tyres full of fuel. Let's fucking go. Are you coming to race with us, um, Beard? I've really enjoyed being back on Gran Turismo today. It's been really cool, actually. Sorry, um, whoever that was. I think you'd sort of... Uh, hit the grass and then come back into me but I did try and give you room that was Harvey sorry mate I think you actually hit the grass and it tr started to spin you around into me but it's all good all good my end all 
Right, no one's in the pit just yet. Bloody hell, what a, what a palaver that was at the start. Fuck, I don't think we've had that much palaver for a long time. Same track, 24 laps. Yeah, we're doing the bar first 24. You know what we did on Friday um, on the PC? We're doing exactly the same thing here. I mean, if we're enjoying the racing and there's plenty of people in, I just won't do a second stream. We just carry on and do this race um, three times if you want, four times even, whatever you want. Um, Grizzly, this is PlayStation. Look at the old spectate cam. I mean, it, it really does still flex its muscles, doesn't it, Gran Turismo? Can you imagine what the next one's going to look like? Oh my goodness. I mean, it's the same old adage, isn't it? How much better can it look? You know, but it, it will do, won't it? It will do. Hello, Baza. How are you? Yeah, happy new year to you as well. Doing a late dinner. What do you mean, pizza? <laughs> Yeah, no worries, Beard, of course. It's not a new lobby, though, so as soon as you know, Bazza, um, sorry, um, uh, Beard, get yourself in here to, to secure your spot. I think there's a space left. Maybe, maybe not. I haven't turned it on for ages, Chris. Like, no, no, never used to get hot, though. <laughs> no chance of that. Prawn cocktail, fucking hell. Wow, I bet you got the ABBA album, or Alba, ABBA album on an, as well, haven't you? A bit of Terence Trent Darby in the background. I know what you're up to. <laughs> I love a prawn cocktail. Done right, it's so tasty, isn't it? He's a bit posh, yeah, he's fucking pushing the boat out. Yeah, you're always welcome, Joseph, you know that. It'd be good to see if you've, uh, or not if, but how much you've improved. Oh, God. Has it definitely. That's why I'm decorating at the moment. I promised my wife, my very patient wife, we've, we've been wanting to do the bedroom now for quite a while. And I said, in the new year, and I'm, I'm doing it. So tomorrow I'm going to put the um, last coat on the ceiling and then crack on with it. Fucking eight ceilings, didn't you? I like decorating, I like painting, I'm quite a, a good decorator, I think. But ceilings, fucking hell, they are my nemesis. I hate them. I think that's one of the reasons I've, I keep putting it off. March, uh, sometime, yeah. Can't remember the date, March something. I told you, there's only one Mrs. Game Tech. People will start to think you are actually my wife, Melody. <laughs> right, we've got ninth. Okay, eighth. Good. This is all good. Back up to ninth with Glenn in front. 
no, I love I love the decorating. I like the the process of freshening everything up. I like that. But um, it's the ceilings. Fucking hate ceilings. I really do. Hello, Kev. How are you? Yeah, pressure on Glenn. You're 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 um you're cheering for Glenn anyway, aren't you, Brighton? That's what you said earlier. So let's go and overtake him. <laughs> Fair dinkums in the pits. Right, we've actually settled down now. This is good. What a palaver of a start. It just shows we can we can do it as a community. I don't think there's that many communities that would do what we did there, though. Not at all. Right, now I'm starting to relax and enjoy it now. Look at that though. I mean, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, Hans left the game. What's up, Hans? There is a space now, Beard, if you if you're coming back in. Or if you want to come in. Oh, you got disconnected. Is that, oh, is that you, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hans is uh, oh, Hans is Mr. Punterino. Okay. <laughs> Scotch egg! <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh, Simon. I'm watching you while eating a fucking scotch egg. Right? How about that? I suppose it is my main job, Nigel. Yeah, 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 it is, yeah. Oh, sorry about that, Hans. And thanks for slowing down at the start. are starting to go off just a little bit. Ben's back in the pits. sixth there but I think Ben will be out the uh, pit before I get there oh no sorry Punterino isn't Hans Hans is Hans James I'm Jason I've got a problem with the wheel sometimes it looks to the left so I can't oh okay Hans yeah so who's Punterino then I, I, I'm lost now Doesn't take much to confuse me, does it? Oh, Fair Dinkum Junior. So, what's your name in here? What's your What's your name? What's your PlayStation name? No, that's all right, Hans. Thanks for slowing down at the start. I assume you didn't know what was going on. 
<laughs> and thought, oh, lovely, I've got a space here. Oh, your premium crew. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> he's quite confused. Yeah, he's got to be a Jimmy Broadbent follower. Yeah, yeah. Someone's off there. I don't know who that is. I haven't got time to look. Who is it? Can you see? Oh, this is getting interesting now with people. Um, Pitting at different times, I like this. This race has actually turned out to be alright, hasn't it? It still has snow, oh, does it? Hey, Rusty's in, hello Rusty. Sorry to tell you to get back out earlier, sorry, I know it was a bit confusing. Just wanted to get the spectate cam in. The next race will be the proper one. I mean, if you're up for racing all night, I'm happy to not do a second stream. We can just race all night, I don't mind. Yeah, it's open lobby. Well, it's friends only lobby, yeah. But you can make me a friend, not a problem. Yeah, no worries, um, uh, TS, do it now, and then in between the race, just remind me again. Max with a... No, Ben's got the fastest lap. Maybe he just got that. No, that's good, Rusty. You're in now, so just chill out there and uh, you'll be in for the next one. No, I had problem, as you know, I had problems with the bloody spectate cam, but we're all, we're all good now. Maybe we'll just race tonight. Maybe we won't do another stream. Maybe we'll just race. Hello, Paul. How are you? Paul Sugar. Okay, so Ben's uh, on fresh tyres and fresh fuel. I need to pit this lap, so I'm not going to fight him too much. Because he, he will probably just cruise past me anyway. I mean, I'm not going to give it away, but at the same time, there's no point in me fighting him because I need to pit. Don't have to move over, obviously, because he's not blue flagging me. Right, I'm pitting Ben. Hello, Racky, how are you? <coughs> You're welcome anytime, Racky, you know that. Right, I'm going to pit and it's going to lose me a few places here. But obviously, it's got to be done. 
just remind me after this race to do um, to do those. But the lobby might be full anyway. But there's always next time, isn't there? Yes, have that. That's Bosch. Um, here we go. I think I might be able to do that from here. Uh, except. Um, oh shit. Oh, don't fucking do that. Except. That's fine. Should be fine. You might have to close your Gran Turismo down for it to see the friend's room. Sometimes after you've been accepted and then you try the room, doesn't see it straight away. Yeah, Glenn's um, fifth, just in front of me. The little shit. Hello, Dean, how are you? Right, sixth, but I'm all fresh tired up. And, uh, and yeah, we've only got a few laps to go. I might be able to... Oh, I can't remember how many laps we were doing, actually. I might be able to stay out and keep a sixth. Which, considering the start, would be an absolute win, wouldn't it, really? Yeah, all good, thank you very much. It's nice to be replicating this from Friday's PC night. I'm going to be doing the same with Spa as well. So, Ultima Ballista, Spa, might do Spa 24. Uh, no, not Spa, sorry, Suzuka. In fact, we could do Spa as well, but we'll do Suzuka next. Do Suzuka 24 on Ultima Ballista. Um, and then we can do Spa 24 on this as well. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I racing with subs? Yeah, maybe. It's not really, that's not... It's not what really I racing is for, is it? That's what we got Ultima Ballista and Gran Turismo for. Um, I racing's for just getting stuck in, get pull your sleeves up, get stuck in, and take the world on, isn't it? I might do though. I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt, would it? Yeah, we can do a Spa 24 both on the PC and Gran Turismo. Yeah, let's do that for a couple of weeks. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's just not what iRacing is about, really. As I've always said, iRacing is a very singular experience. It's, it's you against the world. It's just the way it is, really. Uh, it's not really a sort of community game as such. It's, uh, it's you against the world. Right, we've got fifth. 161. Yeah, well, we've done a few 24s, haven't we? We've done some... Um, uh, six hour races around here actually we've done we've definitely done a four hour around here I've done pretty much everything with Grand Turismo we've done we were the first people to do multi-class racing we've done we've done everything every every single scenario I've put on championships um, yeah I've put on everything it's died off recently because you know I wouldn't say I'm bored with Grand Turismo you just sort of you know you, you move on don't you you know but saying that getting back on it today I've had an absolute blast and it's just reminded me how how well it stands up it's still a good game Simcade of course it's no eye racing in terms of physics and and car control but it don't matter that I'm not bothered about that I'm not a, I'm not a sim racing snob I will play anything as long as it's fun and outside of eye racing as long as we can get people involved but like I say, I racing. I'm quite happy to keep that as a sort of very singular experience, and people like to watch it on stream as well. See how I get on against uh, the general public, you know. <coughs> Hello, JD. How are you, mate? So yeah, with this little thing that we've got going with Ultima Ballista. Um, and then replicating it in Gran Turismo. We can keep that going for the next few weeks if you want. We could do Spa 24, uh, Suzuka 24. Uh, we can't do Le Mans 24 because it's not in Ultima Ballista, which is annoying. 
Yeah, cool tracker, yeah, absolutely. I might keep a fifty, you know? That wouldn't be bad at all, would it? Considering the start, and I must thank everyone for bunching up and doing a, a an impromptu safety car lap. That was brilliant. I absolutely loved that. It looked cool as well, didn't it? That was some of the best bits about the, the 24 hour streams that I've done, is when we just parade around in between the actual races. I love that. And if it looks, well, obviously it's going to look as good, if not better, um, on Gran Turismo 7. Yeah, I agree um, regarding the numbers. I mean, like today, there's 20 people. Well, give us 20 people in private races then, you know? That is a little bit annoying. Yes, I know they're hosted races, but... It's a bit annoying how you do the public races, the daily race, they're 20 people. And yet you come on to do it with your friends and there's only 16. 20 would be the absolute sweet spot. I don't think, I don't, has it been confirmed? I think we're only still going to get 16. And the reason for that will be old Jen holding it back, but there you go, you know. Now honestly, Chump, it's easy to, cl to race cleanly. It's really easily. Um, it's not easy to win, but it's really easy to race cleanly. You just don't go too fast. <laughs> as um, contradictory as that as that sounds, you just keep within your limits, know your braking points, and stay on the track. Then you won't upset anyone. If anyone's coming up behind you, you don't like all oh, swerve and all that shit. You just stay over to one side, and within a few laps, honestly, you'll start to feel comfortable. That's why I always say this isn't some fucking sim race in elite room. We're just we're just geezers and ladies, just having having a bit of fun. You are more than welcome. Come in in the next race. You're welcome, as long as you're not driving like an idiot, which I'm, I doubt you will. Um, you know, like when you come up this straight, you just get over to one side and do your thing. If there's people going past you, you just move over. It's all good. And if someone's coming up now and you think, oh, I'm not confident on this bit, you just hold back a little bit, let them go. You'll learn more by just going in the deep end and just, just having a go, you know. Monza, yes. Monza 24, fucking lovely. Yeah. Saturday, me, Max and Matt are doing an endurance race, actually, on iRacing, to contradict uh, myself. No, no auto brake. You ain't going to learn anything with auto brake, are you? Fucking hell. No, you ain't going to learn nothing. Yeah, me, me um, my son Max, who is fourth, and Matt, who's in the chat, um, we're going to do an endurance race at Silverstone in iRacing. So to uh, contradict myself about it being a singular experience, we're going to do multiplayer. <laughs> so Friday, we're doing an hour shift each in the car. It's the same car, and basically it's team racing. We've done one already, and we did really well. Um, poor old Matt got disconnected right at the start. Oh, wow. But we still did well, though, didn't we? So I'm actually looking forward to that. So tomorrow I better put in some practice as well. Oh, Max, I might not have told you, actually. I mean, not that he can um, not that he can type back. But, yeah, Saturday's back on, Max. So we better buy you the content <laughs> so you can actually practice. Oh, definitely, Jason. It's going to be awesome. We're, it's going to be amazing to get everyone together. It'd be great for the channel. Yeah, we'll be doing loads of racing, loads of championships. Everything that I've done in the past of Gran Turismo, we'll all come back. We'll do leagues, we're not leagues, don't want to use the word league, but we'll do mini champs, we'll have uh, one night championships, we'll have weekly championships, it's going to be brilliant. Yeah, it's going to be cool. <coughs> yeah, so we can do Monza 24, Spa 24, Suzuka 24. Yeah. Is breaking easy? Uh, well, it's, it's breaking, isn't it, you know? Yeah. It's not hard, is it? You put your foot down, but it's, it's more about judging where you want to stop, really. So I think I think Matt will go first again. I quite like his um, I like his steady hand with sim racing. Um, I think 
we'll do the same before. Matt will go first, do his hour, then um, Max will do his hour, and then I'll do the last hour. That gives me two um, two hours of talking shit and, and chatting. So on the last hour, I'll just basically not turn chat off, but you know, after taking over people's two hours worth of work, I need to concentrate, don't I? So yeah, little cheeky bonus stream Saturday night for you. That seems to be the dream team, me, Matt and Max. Yeah, I will, Matt, I'll have a look at them, yeah. Silverstone 24, no, this game hasn't got Silverstone. Unless I'm being blind and stupid. Mm. No, it hasn't, no. Yeah, I mean, the, the space isn't going to free up now, is it? But maybe after the race, someone will slip out. I normally do a new lobby each race, but when I get the second PlayStation in there for the Spectate cam, um, that needs to stay in there. <laughs> no, you don't. Don't encourage him, Matt. <laughs> it's true though look at today bloody hell Goodwood 24 yeah Goodwood but we haven't got that in Ultima Ballista but yes that would be a good one so you're um, Fair Dinkum's boy so I've met you haven't I um, lad I can't remember your name <laughs> I've met you haven't I with Max you met Max didn't we at um, EGX Rezd it's surprising now, after a few years, exactly how how many people I have actually met um, from the channel. It's great. That was quite a few years ago, wasn't it? I don't want to call you Punterino. It just reminds me of Jimmy fucking Broadbent every time I say it. <laughs> I'll just call you Mister. So, we're keeping fifth. Now, I'll tell you what, obviously I've got to thank you all um, for bunching up and doing the safety car lap. That was brilliant, because otherwise I was absolutely ruined. But to finish fifth out of that, not bad. Zillabang got the wing. Then Fair Dinkum, Senior. Then my boy Max, by the looks of it. Then Ben, who had it in the bag at one point, I think. Not in this game, Richard. How are you, Liz? Yeah, fifth. Quite happy with that. Right, let's go again. <coughs> Hello, Scott. You might have got the privilege on your Isle of Wight tips. Uh, what do you mean, Kev? Yeah, well done, Max. <laughs> the safety car cost me the win. Yeah, I know, Ben, but it made for a better race for everyone, didn't it? It's fine. Look, you're still in. We're still going to do the next one. Last lap, last lap overtake for the podium. Nice. Right. If everyone's all ready, I don't know who's staying, who's going. Um, I think what I'll do is, while you settle yourselves down... Yeah, someone's left, so there is a space. Uh, I'm going to nip to the little boy's room. Um, back in two seconds, and we'll do the race again.
Right, have we, um, did we have a changeover? TS Films is in, nice one. So if it's your first time racing with us, TS, um, just nice and clean racing. None of that daily race bullshit. Um, we don't use each other for slowing down. It's a community race. Right. No, you should be fine, TS. Right, okay, this, um, let's get the old thing out. Okay, everyone ready up. So we need Python and Rusty, everyone to ready up. And we've got a full grid. That's it. And um, Rusty, maybe Rusty's disappeared off somewhere. Um, hope he comes back in a second. He is. Nice one. All right. Exactly the same again. Bosh. Yeah, the downhill, the downhill section. Are you still controller beard? I can't remember. <laughs> Right, let's do it. Let's go again. Let's have it large. Let's have it big style. There you go. <laughs> You're exhausted. What are you talking about, Max? What's up with you? Right, okay, let's do it. We've only got six minutes. <laughs> it's all going qualified together. Oh, nice beard. Nice. Yeah, Porsche only. Oh, sorry, um, uh, Python. Did I not say? Yeah, Python, you need to... Oh, shit. Yeah, it's, it's a Porsche night. Yeah, you must have seen all them Porsches. Yeah, it's a Porsche night, unfortunately. Same thing with um, Lewis as well. Oh, shit. I mean, we can all come out if you want. Yeah, it's a Porsche night. Hence the fun. Um, and all that. Don't worry, we'll let you off. It's not It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I should have made it clear. Just stay in. It's alright, TS. It's not a problem. It's your first time here, so don't worry too much. No, 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 TS, stay there. It's all good. It's, it's only it's only fun, don't worry. If we have another one, though, you're going to need the Porsche. You're back to... Oh, shit. Yeah, definitely, Beard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, TS. I'm sure we're going to be doing another one. Maybe I'm in the mood for racing tonight, I must say. So um, uh, maybe we won't do a second usual stream. Maybe we will just stay here and, and do some more of these. It'll still be this race. Because you know me, I like you know setting up the race and then rinsing it. Yeah, get it ready, TS. And uh, yeah, so if you have come out... You're more than welcome to get the 911 and then come straight back in the lobby so you're there for the next one. That That's totally fine. You can do that. Right, we've got a fifth at the moment. Yeah, next one I can do a nighttime race. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, you'll have to remind me though. Yeah, let's, um, let's not worry about a second stream. Let's just sit here and, and race all night. We're all set up for this now, aren't we? I think we are fair dinkum. I think um, we'll just carry on. I must admit, I am enjoying racing tonight. And, well, today. What's up with your brake pedal, anyway? I didn't know you had one, Fair Dinkum. I thought you just used us. <laughs> 
thanks films yeah it's the, it's the streaming aspect that I come on for I don't come on for the racing aspect you know as much as I enjoy it I come on because I want to stream and to stream you have to interact and that's why I come on I don't watch any racing streamers really especially the ones that literally don't even look at the chat whilst they're racing it's a bit you know it's alright a lot of people like it oh okay are you on PlayStation 5 fair dinkum because it was fucking around with well I don't know whether you remember earlier but um, that's alright I was worried about you Matt and I was worried about your family actually just like it would be for mine yeah yeah, earlier on, um, I had that brake pedal thing, uh, sorry, accelerator pedal thing, didn't I? Are you on four? Okay. Um, where the accelerator wasn't going all the way down. Um, restarted it with both the accelerator and brake pedal pushed right down as you start the PlayStation up. That seems to be fine. And then earlier on in the afternoon, I think I played a bit of Spider-Man. Come back on, PlayStation hadn't been restarted. Set the lobby up for tonight. Same thing. Uh, the accelerator's fucked and what it is on the PlayStation 5 it's when you put the controller on it does something recalibrates it so that's why when I set the initial lobby up I had to kick everyone out and do another one so if you, it seems to be at the moment if you have your accelerator if you have the controller on and I'm not going to say all wheels but certainly this wheel you get that sort of 80% thing on the accelerator it doesn't go all the way up really weird Hello, Andrew. Yeah, of course we was worried, Matt. That's what friends are for, isn't it? Like I said, anything you wanted done, I would have done. I would have come up if you'd need me to come up. You know, if you need, need me to come up and do some streaming for you, I would have done it. That's exactly what brake pedals are, um, certainly load cell uh, films, they are muscle memory isn't it, that's what it is. Right, we've got a fifth for the start, I'm happy with that. No, I've got my own, as long as it ain't a ceiling, uh, Matt. <laughs> Fucking ceilings. This one's actually come up nice. I'm going to put the final coat on it tomorrow. Because I like it to be perfect. I like it to be fucking spot on. Yeah, definitely, Paul. Yeah, without a doubt. And we've all, I'd like to think that, you know, although a lot of us have met up in real life, a lot of us obviously haven't, but that doesn't mean that you're not friends, is it? Well, they're not all round, clever cocks. <laughs> oh, nice. Max got a third there. Yeah, thanks, Tears. I have done a room tour if you if you want to know more. But yes, uh, I do like me room. <laughs> it sounds like I'm on the twig snapping pile. <laughs> well, you have got friends, Les. You come in here, didn't you? Oh god, Rusty, you're on the six axis. What's happened with your will? Right, sixth. I want to do another bloody um, uh, animal 
crossing stream, but I know Les is going to come in and just fucking nick everything. It's cold in the garage. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I got you. <coughs> but it doesn't hurt to be nice, does it, Les? You know, it's easy, isn't it? Being nice is easy. It's a bit like clean racing. It's easy. Being nice is fucking easy, isn't it? Hello, Jamie. How are you? Yeah, all good. Thank you very much. Right, okay, I've got to get the spectate cam ready this time. <laughs> Qualified last? Doesn't matter, you've got family. <laughs> okay, let's put that there. Let's get that on. I must remember to press the brake this time so I don't get a full start. This could be the bloody race. Here we go. Uh, f seventh, seventh, like that. Okay, here we go. Lovely, we're all sorted. Someone got a shitty start. That was a weird start, wasn't it? I think everyone got away. Maybe someone just was late? I don't know. Max got out in the lead. You can't come in the chat and tell us about bloody penalties, can you? How are you going to race when, you, when you're doing that? Don't forget, a penalty in a, in a private lobby is not the same as in a public lobby. You can scrub the penalty off whenever you want to in uh, in these lobbies can't you it's not like the public ones where you have to you get slowed down This is more like it, isn't it? Yeah, proper race. A proper fucking shootout. That's my corner. Oh, what's that? A cup of tea? Oh, thanks, babe. Stick it up there. Hello, Eva. Thanks, babe. All those Brits in a German car, yeah. <laughs> well, why not, eh? Well, get yourself in here, then. Fair dinkum. Yeah, sod the uh, second stream. We're going to carry on racing tonight. Everyone up for that? Hello, Laser. Hello, Most High. You too, mate. Give Ben a little flash. 
Look at that. I mean, it looks cool, doesn't it? We're going to have a nighttime race next, so uh, that should be interesting. See, friendly, respectful, it's how you should race. Fuck! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Ben! Oh, for fuck's sake, Ben, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's embarrassing. Ben, I'm so sorry. You just broke a little bit too... Oh, God. Ben, I just want to apologise to you. I'm so sorry. I know. Oh, God, I was going to slow down and wait, but, like... <laughs> Don't bloody wow me. I'm so sorry. Because he knows from the previous corner, I'm a clean racer. That was just... Uh... <laughs> Fuck off, Raggy. Ben, I owe you a huge apology. Fucking hell, he's going to be destroying me, isn't he? <laughs> that happened then. Okay. Ben, you know I love you. And, and I'm so sorry. It was an accident. Yeah. No, there's no salt there. I'm apologising. Apologies isn't salt. That just means, whoops, we got a little bit too close there. I did not do that on purpose. I don't do any anything like that on purpose. Absolutely not. <laughs> sorry, then giggles. No, if I giggle, you know I am bloody sorry. No, come on. You know I'm a clean racer. Come on, give it to me. It's Apple too. <laughs> I won't do it again. Look, I've gone all embarrassed and red. That's why the aircon's going on. Do we need to clip that? No, don't bloody clip it, for fuck's sake. Ben's probably still on that corner, like, outside his car. <laughs> Wanker! Sorry, Ben. Not dirty, Jason. Accidental, Jason. Ben knows that um, this shit happens. Usually it happens to me, let's be honest. But uh, this time, it was me giving it out. No, don't clip that! Yeah, the camera angles are fantastic, aren't they? I mean, look at that. <sighs> I just hope Ben can find it in his in his heart to forgive me. I <laughs> can't believe what I'm seeing. Oh, come on, my first touch, first and only touch all night. It would have to be Ben right into the fucking barrier, though. He knows I'm sorry. I <laughs> created my own gift. I might do it as a, um, oh god, what's it called? Uh, uh, not FTP, what's it called where you do the. You know what I'm talking about. NFT, that's it, yeah. <laughs> yep. Gift for sale. Yeah, we're respectful, but when I do make a mistake, look how much I've said sorry. Oh, you know I'm genuinely sorry. got Rusty behind me, he's going to be kicking ass soon, isn't he? Cool, I'm holding Rusty off.
Yeah, no worries, Racky. See you on the track next time, mate. Bloody good setup though, isn't it? The race and track combo, I mean, 24 laps, love it. There's one problem with this view, and I hope Gran Turismo gives you the option, although I know in my heart they won't, to dis um, disable the steering wheel. Sometimes you are literally covering up the entire track ahead of you. Look at the fucking hands, look, look at the hands, look. <laughs> Ben will do fine anyway. Look, he's eighth already. Bet I've got no worries about Ben. <laughs> nice one, Rusty. <laughs> you nearly got a strike on that one. <laughs> See, it's not always me, is it? Mistakes happen. I think that one was just a spare, Rusty. <laughs> when are you coming to race with us again, Mick? <laughs> Michael! <laughs> That's what Ben's doing. Michael! Game Tech hit me! Yeah, it really does, doesn't it, Baz? Can you imagine what um, GT7's gonna look like? And I'll be having the spectate cam on there straight away, that's for sure. bit dusty down here. Oh my good gold. <laughs> Toto, we win motor racing. <laughs> Michael. I think I'm gonna pit now because that last lap seems to really uh kill the tire, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. That's what GT does though, doesn't it? It does the graphical representation perfectly. If you look at GT one it still fucking looks good, you know. Yeah, this is more polished, isn't it, Laser? Yeah, this is definitely uh, definitely more polished. So I'm pitting a lap early, but it might be all right. Yeah, we'll definitely be doing another championship soon on um, F1. That was a lot of fun, and I think we'll do we'll do five rounds rather than six. <laughs> ben, Ben's in the pits. I'm sorry, Ben. Do you accept my apology, Ben? Just put yes or no. He's like the first race was robbed because of the safety car.
He does. Yeah, he knows it was an accident. Thank God for that. Hello, Mustang. Yeah, I'm all good, thank you. Enjoying a day of racing on Gran Turismo. It's been fucking lovely, actually. Hello, Dominic. How are you? Yeah, day's been good, mate. It's funny how, you know, you, you think you're over with something. Like I thought, well, let's move on from Gran Turismo now while we're waiting for the new one to come out. To all of a sudden probably doing about, what, six, seven hours of Gran Turismo streaming in one day? <laughs> It's just proof to me today that it is actually holding up pretty good, and especially as a community. I know I was doing. Um oh, what's up with Max? Is Max run out of fuel? I think Max has run. No, he hasn't. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I know today was uh, daily racing, but once you get a community together on this, oh my god, it's fantastic. And that's, I suppose, one good thing is about it being cross gen is the fact that not everyone's got a PlayStation, so they'd be sitting here, wouldn't they? Just thinking, well, for fuck's sake, you know, I want to play Gran Turismo, but I can't even get a PlayStation 5. So with that in mind, it's great that obviously it's going cross-platform. I just hope it doesn't hurt the game too much. I've done loads of five-hour streams, four-hour races, six-hour races, laser. Yeah, loads. I've done... Um <laughs> oh, it's easy to drive clean. It was. It's called a mistake, Kev, for fuck's sake. Move on. <laughs> it was just the one mistake. Literally one. Did you see earlier how people were driving? Ben's forgiven me, so that's all that counts. Well, he says he has. Yeah, we've done lots of endurance racing, but for now, 24 laps is uh, is lovely, actually. So we're going to do... Um <laughs> oh, it's a mistake! So we're going to do another race, exactly the same. We're only doing this race tonight in the, um, in the Porsche RSR only. Hello, Kent. How are you? Oh, it's a fantastic track. Is EGX weekend? Well, we won't be going there then, will we, Pug? <laughs> we definitely won't be going there. Oh, that's good, Mark. You just chill out, mate. Can't wait. It's going to be uh, a good day. Don't don't you forget your tea? Yeah, I can't get it until uh, the race is over. So I'll I'll stick that in the microwave when this is done. I'm sure you'll make that up, Rusty. Eva, down, darling. Down. You just literally standing in the middle of the room. Come here. Come here. Who's a good girl. Come here. There she is. Well, a little bit of a come here. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, please do, Alan. Yeah, please do. What's up, Eva? You're just standing in the middle of the room, darling. What's up? She's a German Shepherd. Big beast of a fucking bear, cuddly dog. Who's a bastard if you knock the door. <laughs> she would kill you if you knock the door. But once you're in, she loves a cuddle. She was unsure about Matt. She gave Matt a couple of little growls. But she was she was a good dog. <laughs> oh shut up, fair Dinkum. 
I have actually moved up the field a little bit these days. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> she wants to sing a song. I don't know if she does. Eva, would you like to sing a song? Do you wanna do you wanna sing? Come here, darling. No, she doesn't. She really doesn't actually. She's just laid down and huffed and maybe next time she comes over. Who's that behind me? That is Max. Nice one. Let's do it, Max. Whoa. Ha <laughs> it's my boy. That's my lad upstairs. Bloody good racer. Get out of it. I'm defending here. Fuck that. Oh god, he's got Red Bull on the side of his car. He must be a... He must be a wrecker. Would it be funny? Probably would, yeah. He wouldn't do that to his old dad. He knows how old I am. Oh, thank you, George. Thank you, George. Appreciate that, mate. You're a good lad. I like them highlighted messages, it's good. Apparently you get one per stream, I think, or is it one per month? I don't know. Like a highlighted message, but a sort of free highlighted message for members. It's cool. One per month, cool. Tight, aren't they? Hello Nathan, how are you? <coughs> well, that's where you can stay, Joseph. I was trying to leave room for Max there, because I know he was creeping up the inside. Oh, that's slow. Oh shit. That's alright, Max made a mistake as well. <laughs> this is going to end in tears. <laughs> yeah, but whose tears? Will I have ceiling dust on my head? Who knows? Let's find out. Tune in after these... Words. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yes, my tears. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it's fine, we're still fourth. It's all good. They're only up there, look. I could lasso them from here if I wanted to. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that answered that. I got nervous with my own very fast son behind me. He is a uh, he's a very fast lad, and he takes no prisoners from the ceiling. Yeah, you did. You predicted that, didn't you? It's fine. They're only there anyway. Hello, Warrior. How are you? 
Okay, still fourth, and we're going to pit on this lap. I think the fuel and tyres is um, is on the right the right number because it means that you have to pit a couple of times. You can't just stay out. You do actually have to pit. It's good. And once you once you start pitting, that's when the um, the interest comes in because everyone's doing their own thing. S places swap around. Well, I'm still fourth, Pivers. It's all good. It's all good. See you later, laser jet. <laughs> I could actually do that, George. I wouldn't do it, though, would I? Of course not. Right, I'm going to pit this lap. Fuck it. Let's get a, a new bit of rubber on. Oh, Max just... Uh, Bend it there. Can't park there, Max. That had nothing to do with me. Yeah, the new cars look really nice. Well, it'll take a while to get used to them, as I'm sure everyone has every year, but they've soon become the standard, weren't they? Or the norm, as it were. I don't know why it takes so long to get from there to here. I mean, it's just literally up there, isn't it? Shouldn't he be in bed anyway? Yeah, he will after this. Let, let him finish this first. <laughs> right, sixth. We've got a nice bit of space. Okay, this could be interesting. How did I spin out? Just, just did, mate. Shit happens, isn't it? Ask Ben. <laughs> Knowing Max, he's probably playing F1 on the Xbox as well. <laughs> <laughs> so there will be another space after this one because Max is coming out. Um, so if you want to, if you want to come in, all good. Yeah, Ben's in front of me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> we should swap over again actually once uh, once we start pitting. Uh, no, Joseph. <coughs> school is school. Playtime is playtime. <laughs> Judge Judy. Yeah. Right, Ben's in the pits there, look, I might be able to just sneak past him. That would be interesting. Max is there as well. That's exactly what it is, it's black magic. It's, it's let oh yeah, I'm ahead of him, nice! Right, back in fourth. Come on, lads, come on! <laughs> Judge Rinder, yeah. Right, we've got a back marker here now, so he should be being blue flagged. So all he's got to do is just, especially as he's not in a Porsche, he's just got to move over nice and nothing crazy, nothing crazy. 
that's it. Thank you, Lewis. I think actually you did have your indicator on, meaning that you was probably going to turn left, but I was just going to um, take you on the inside. So don't worry, Lewis. It's all good. Now, 10 o'clock is bedtime, which I think is pretty reasonable for um, a 13-year-old lad who's, who's got, um, you know, school and all that sort of stuff. Actually, it's probably a little bit late, but you've got to give them freedom as well as rules, haven't you? That's it sideways, yeah, two PlayStations, um, two capture cards, two copies of the game. Obviously one PlayStation is in the lobby, and then a bit of software to swap the windows over. Bit of a pain, but it, it's worth it. Actually, it's bedtime's ten, but he's always fucking up at half ten. We're going to carry on racing though tonight. If you're up for that, uh, rather than go off and do some GTA, we'll have uh, we'll have another one. Yeah, of course, warrior. But that's not you know that's what my life was like. But that, that's not necessarily right, just because we had that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think that. You probably don't either. I don't want him to be seen or not heard. Uh, absolutely no flaws, oh I wouldn't say that. There's lots of improvements that could happen. But it's a very good game. Especially for its age. Especially for the amount of um, development time they gave it, you know, in terms of free updates. Okay, it was a little bit empty when it was released. But um, no, they, they kept on. And I think now it's a, it's a very, very good game. But it's definitely not flawless. Sarcasm. Ah, oh, you see, I don't know you very well, do I? So I didn't know if you was, uh, if you was being serious. Right, still fourth. Well, the freezing glitch we had for years, didn't we? We put up with that for ages. It doesn't. Um, doesn't seem to happen now. We had the stuck on the grid bug for so long. Oh my god, so long. Oh, the sounds shit, Graham. It always has been. Yeah, the sound is fucking diabolical. Actually, I'm far below par. Um, yeah, developer, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Yamaguchi, Yamahochi, can't, I can't remember his name. You know, he loves cars, then he? loves cars of a passion, he lives cars. I, I can't believe that as he hasn't said, no, we need, we need better sound. Yeah, I just hope the next one has. My fear is that GT7 won't have the sound that we want. Probably GT8, whenever that's coming. But, uh, yeah, donk, yeah. And just, you know, there's not much exhaust popping. There's no, um, yeah, there's just not much to it, is it? It's a very generic, flat experience, the sound. You know, you're not hearing any of the metallic sort of rumble uh, from... Yeah, that's him. <laughs> oh my god, no, no! <laughs> no, man, that's not his fucking name. Yakuza Tamagotchi. You're not hearing any of that, um, the different levels you get in something like, um, yeah, Automobilista or Race Room, I suppose, was um, two of the good examples. Not only have you got, you've got the road noise, you've got the engine noise, you've got the interior noise, so many different sound layers. This has just got one, gearbox and tyres, that's it. No, that's alright, Graham, you wasn't. Well, did you enjoy it? Hopefully you did. 
See you later, Wolf. I've got some um, some other races planned for that. Rusty's in the pits. The thing is, I actually thought Matt put his right name. <laughs> Hello, Rusty Senior. How are you? How are you, mate? Lovely to see you in here. <coughs> he just messaged you. <laughs> Hello, Rusty Senior. Hopefully you're having a good new year, mate. Your boy's up there in second. I'm behind him in third. All right. <laughs> He's a good lad, that Rusty. What you been playing, Graham? There's some other, some other these, um, some other of these 24 um, races I want to do that we can do on both. So this Friday we might do a, um, oh I don't know, maybe a Spa 24 on Automobilista, and then the following week we can do it on here as well. And we can, um, it, it, it keeps everyone involved that way, doesn't it? But I'll put something together. Hello, Thomas, how are you? It'll probably be in the GT Freeze again, but I know that's a little bit boring, but for community races, it's just it's just the best one, isn't it? Obviously, when we start getting stuck into G... Fuck off. Once we start getting stuck into GT7, then we'll do what we've always done and go go down the range to like um, Subaru v Mitsubishi you know all them sort of things that we've done in the past before but just for quick one off community nights GT3 is just fantastic isn't it oh have you not got it Fair Dinkum you will absolutely love it it's um, I mean you like iRacing don't you and you like ACC you will love yeah you will love it Oh, nice, Graham. Bosh. Yeah, I am due to go back to Demon Souls myself. I'm in a, I'm in a platinum kind of mood. I'm just about to do my second platinum of the year, and it's only what the twelfth or whatever it is. Um, Spider Man, and then I'm going to move on to another one. We did the slow, slow cats. Uh, which ones do you mean, Beard? Slow cars around the test track. Um, oh god, which one was it, Beard? We've done pretty much everything, haven't we? We've done, we've done the fucking lot in this game. I'd like to think that value for money, oh my god, we've done everything. Hey, there's Max, right, here we go. Yeah, my eldest had his booster on Sunday. Monday, he was really unwell, poor sod. Camper vans around the Oval, yeah, we've done loads of stuff, haven't we? I liked our little NASCAR... <coughs> choking there. I like our little NASCAR night we did. I thought that was really fun, actually. No, I'll leave that to you, Pivers. Oh, no, I have played it on the stream. Yeah, I have played it, Graham. I did a, a, a stream and killed the first boss uh, on stream when the PlayStation 5 come out. Did you, uh, Fair Dinkum? Yeah, tomorrow you'll be unwell. Just for, just for, until about, until about five or six in the evening. Yeah, then you'll start to perk up. Oh no, my arm was okay, I was just unwell the next day, but me and my missus, uh, I think I got up about one o'clock, and then went on the sofa and slept until about six. <laughs> yeah, they're hard, ga hard games, aren't they? Yeah, we did do Samba Ran Suzuki, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to think that... Um, 
I went through it with a fine tooth comb, really, didn't I? Um, hopefully, I put on some good nights, but we're doing it. We're going to do it all over again. It's funny how time goes, isn't it? Remember the release of well, remember the release of GT1, but remember the release release of GT Sport, and now here we are. We're coming up to yet another one. See you later, Matt. Oh, nice one, Bazza. You might be fucking superhuman. Yeah, that's going to be another hard one, isn't it, Graham? I did a search for it the other night, and I accidentally uh, typed in elderly ring. And, oh my god, you ought to see what come up. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Elderly ring. <laughs> oh dear. See you later, Melody. Have a good sleep. And it wasn't pretty. Max, you're running with the big dogs there, mate. Absolutely pissing like a poodle, just like I did. <laughs> right, we've got a cheeky fourth here. We just uh, slip past past Max. I'm really enjoying just gaming it. Well, fucking hell, I've said it a million times, and I. But at the moment, I'm just enjoying clearing up a few loose ends, like going back to um, uh, what's it called, um, Astrobot, just platting them in that, platting them in that. That felt good. Finishing Spider-Man, going back to that, tidying that up, I'm feeling in a, in a sort of tidying up mood on the on some games. Uninstall them. Wait for the next instalment, isn't it? It's great. I want to play Gas Station Simulator, but there's no point going back to it now. There's no new content, but apparently the car wash is coming. That was a fun little stream, wasn't it? When the bus turned up, I like that. We literally opened up and did everything that the game had to offer. Just waiting for, for new uh, content now. So there are some spaces, I think, in the server. Feel free to come in, because we're going to race again straight after this. Rusty's in the lead. Just make sure that you've got the Porsche 9, uh, 911 RSR. Because that is the only car we're racing tonight. I have no idea, Josh. Yeah, no idea. I haven't played Bus Sims since Christmas, and then I didn't play it for a little bit before that, to be honest with you. <laughs> Ben's in the pits. Can I slip past him? Probably not. I did. Nice. <laughs> and it George. Alright, got P3 here. Yeah? We have a little bit of a gap. This is nice.
Are you in the lobby, Fair Dinkum? Are you, are you all set for the next one? Is there anyone in the chat that's going to get Gran Turismo 7 that hasn't currently got Gran Turismo 7? Basically, are you are you stepping into the series for GT7 or have we already got it and we're all playing it? So is there anyone here that is jumping into Gran Turismo 7 basically for the first time? I think we're all in it. I think we're all we've all got it and we're all looking forward to the next one. But you never know. <laughs> you can't be bothered heavy, you just just watch me play, eh? It's all good though, isn't it? You're still gaming that way, aren't you? Yeah, it feels like you're still gaming. Do you mean GT7 being their first Gran Turismo? No, no. So basically, is there anyone watching that hasn't got GT Sport that is going to be going into Gran Turismo 7 as their first Gran Turismo? That's clear, isn't it? Yeah, if you're up at 4.30, you can't... You've got to be careful, aren't you? Because if you, if you get stuck into a game... Um, then all of a sudden you think, oh, one more, one more. You're going to be fucked for the next day, aren't you? Oh, nice, Matt. Hello, Andy C. How are you? Bazaar is going to be awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Just having that finite control, a bit like for a bit like Forza, but dare I say, and I don't mean it derogatory, in a more serious sort of way. You know, I love the tune and I love the cars in Forza, but not sort of to be taking it smashing through trees to bring it onto a track. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to. So if it's got what Forza's got. And then you bring it onto the track and, and put your head in Gran Turismo. That, that's all I want. That's it. I mean, you can't fault Forza um, Horizon for the way they um, the way they give you the cars and what you can do to them. Just, oh God, just how beautiful they look. It's amazing, really. See you later, Les. Hello, Dominic. How are you? So don't think I've forgotten Forza Horizon. I've just been concentrating over Christmas on... I um, haven't really played it for ages, but I will get back to it. We're 134 in the world now, so once I get back on it... What I want to do is finish, finish Spider-Man. I've got four more um, trophies to get for the Platinum. Then I'm going to load up Horizon Zero Dawn and sh sort of share my time with um, Horizon and Forza and, and chip away at those two for a little while. That's what I want to do this year. Slow down on the amount of games that I play, but play them um, more. No, Dominic, no. That's track-based. I wouldn't want it to be open world. Oh, God, no. Right, I think I'm going to pit this time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I remember from GT1, bloody hell. You know, they felt like your own cars back then. Literally felt like you'd nurtured them into exactly what you wanted to be. And hopefully that's what we can get with GT7, hopefully.
no, I didn't give up with it, Demon. It, it, it's a bit like what's happened with Spider-Man. You know, I played it for one, maybe two streams, and then I went on to other things. And I'm having a bit of a tidy up sweep. I've gone back to Spider-Man. Um, and I'll go back to Demon Souls as well and try and platinum that. I don't know how realistic that is to platinum it, but I'll certainly try. Pitting. Yes. Yes, take them. Oh, the first GT was just amazing, wasn't it? Oh, I remember getting it. Fucking hell, it just blew your mind, didn't it? And those replays, you know, the first after your first race, the first time you see those replays in the in the flesh. Fucking hell, blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. Is this Need for Speed Shift? Uh, no. Oh, you did kill all the bosses, yeah. Do you take notice of Platinums or anything like that, Graham? I wonder how far you was off if, you, if you've gone um, through the game. I know Codus has got the Platinum. I think Stimson has got the Platinum. Uh, so it's doable, but obviously they're both very, very uh, good gamers that spent a lot of time on it. It's funny, isn't it? People um, said the licenses on GT Sport were easy. Oh, fuck off. The licenses on, on GT1... Uh, sorry, people said the licenses here were hard. Um, oh, I didn't even look. Um, oh, shit, I didn't even look, Les. I was just chatting away, wasn't I? Yeah, you're right. I could have kept that position, couldn't I? But that's all right. It's all good. I'll take Marzi, because Marzi's probably got it. old tyres. And I'll get a fifth, maybe. Fuck! Yeah, people said the licenses here were hard. They aren't. They aren't. You can, you can have a proper, uh, make a proper mistake, still get to the finish line and get gold. Um, GT1 wasn't like that at all. You had to be spot on. Yeah, totally fucked that up at the end. I was chatting away, didn't even look. Just went into the pits and thought, bosh. Right, let's go again. I'm I'm happy to go again if you are. What a horrible race, yeah. You had a couple of mistakes there, didn't you? Um, come out now, Max, because it's quarter past ten, mate. Thank you very much. No, you did well, Ben. Yeah, you did very well. <laughs> right, let's go again, uh, lads. Come out, Maxi boy, please. Thank you very much. It was good to have you in, though. So if anyone else wants to come in, we have got a couple of slots, but we are going to do this again, and while I remember, um, we're going to do it at night. How about that? Yeah, I just made a stupid mistake um, and pitted on the last one. <laughs> Horrible, murderous move. It's a good move, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a night race. Why not? That should look pretty good on the old um, spectate cam as well, shouldn't it? Right, ready up, everyone. And, uh, oh, God, this is going to be hard, isn't it? 24 laps around here. I must take notice more because <laughs> I was enjoying chatting away about bloody gaming and I forgot we was on the uh, last one. Yes, Porsche only. Yep, yeah, well done. I've got my secretary on the case. Or secretary as I like to call him. Uh, <laughs> I got you, Max. I got you. Um, but yeah, Lewis, we do need to have the 911 ready up for me so we can get going. That's it, Lewis. Ready up, please. 
<laughs> Suck you, Terry. Five, four, three, two, one. Bosh, let's go. This is going to be quite hard of a night, isn't it? Right. God, this is going to be tough. Oh shit, this is going to be very tough. Put that down there. Let's go. God, the rev lights are a bit bloody loud, aren't they? Look at them. Oh shit, whose idea was this? Fucking hell. Come on, we're qualifying. Not Oh, it's Ben. I'll let him off. It's fine. Good night, Max. I've got that sort of green tinge to my lights, haven't I? Actually, this 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 should be cool. God, them rev lights are like fucking Christmas all over again. Wow, this is this is hard. Fucking hell. <laughs> No, this should be cool. It looks looks. Does it look alright on stream? No, it's very dark, isn't it? But hopefully, it'll look alright. Oh god, it's really dark, though, isn't it? Fucking hell! Racing from memory, yeah, yeah. You are to a certain extent though, aren't you? I like this bit all lit up. Yeah, sorry Lewis, she wasn't ready and uh, we just wanted to get going. Oh, look at that. Look. That looks awesome. Bloody hell. That looks really cool. Oh, fucking hell. Ben's up me. Ben. Yeah, it sort of looks a little bit lighter on the um, spectate cam, doesn't it? So it's all good. I'll just try and give you the best race that I possibly can. He wishes. Oh, God. It's, it's quite the challenge, though. Nah, that's all right, Ben. Of course I know it's a thing. It's all good. That looks nice as you come down here, doesn't it? But you just miss that dynamic, didn't you? Like getting lighter and darker. When we played Ultima Ballista at the, on Friday, oh, it was such a treat to feel it getting darker and then lighter again. And that's what we'll have in GT7. I just hope that it's available across all tracks. I hate it when they um, separate things and call them premium or whatever, like premium cars, premium tracks. No, we want it across the board. We want the best of everything. Definitely Rice, yeah. How are you, Rice? This 
This is good actually, I'm settled in now. Hello Lavelle, how are you? Thank you mate. Absolutely, Bazza. Yeah, it's amazing the power it sucked out of uh, the PlayStation 4, don't forget. I mean, this is running on a PlayStation 5, but it's not enhanced in any way. It's not utilising any extra power. This is exactly how it would run on a uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. Amazing, really. Hello, Lance. The lighting's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> you want to come on, Glenn? Brighton, um, uh, Glenn, Brighton's got a message for you. <laughs> He's got a surprise for you if you win. Hello, Chris, how are you? How are you, British Ace? Bosch up to fourth, love it. Get time for one more lap, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. That's why I don't mind waiting for a Gran Turismo title. They always seem to suck that extra use out of it. Oh, thank you, Ryze. I appreciate that. Welcome back, mate. They did it with the PlayStation 1, didn't they? Look at everything else on the PlayStation 1 and then compare it to Gran Turismo. Amazing. And they've pretty much done it here, haven't they? I mean, this is the best racer on, on PlayStation, I think. I know you've got ACC, but, you know, it, it doesn't, quality-wise, it doesn't stand up to this. God, this is going to be quite the hot, the ask for 24 laps, isn't it? Am I using auto drive? What, auto gears? No. Of course not. That's what that clicking is. Right there, Ben. <laughs> Fifth. Yeah, Project Cars Two was actually it wasn't a bad looking game. It just in air in so many areas it felt unfinished. Exactly, Laval, yeah, yeah. And they're doing it again with their exclusives and Xboxes as well. I replied to a tweet the other day and, you know, the Xbox is doing very, very well. I thought it was, um, I thought it was going to be a hard fight for Xbox this gen, but obviously they've got all the things brought up with Game Pass. They've got some great games. I love Xbox. Yeah, love it. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> You're right there, Ben. <laughs> You were trying to take me out, weren't you? 
Xbox has got a lot going for it, but you can't deny that PlayStation's got some fantastic exclusives. Yeah, see you later, PJ. Right, let's... Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, no, that's fine. Oh, shit. No, hang on. Oh, made it. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was good. Yeah, we made it. Hello, Bart. Right, let's do this. Oh, very wide on there. There's got to be a pile up soon, isn't there? Oh, it looks so cool, doesn't it? This is the only stream, or the only type of stream that I ever watch back of my own. Uh, I normally watch this the day after when I have the spectate cam up, just while I'm having breakfast, just to um, see all the cars, because it looks cool, doesn't it? And it looks good to see everyone together. Right, we've got, we're on our own actually, we've got, it looks a lot lighter there on the spectate cam. We went motor racing in the dark, Toto. But Michael! They're very close together up there, aren't they? Rusty, Ben and TTV. No, just go next gen now, Elvis. Yeah, don't buy the old gen. Unless it's cheap and, you know, you, you're not that demanding from your gaming. Um, you know, maybe you haven't got 4K TV, you're up in your bedroom, I don't know who you are or what you do, but, I mean, if the Xbox S, the old gen, was cheap enough, then, yeah, it might be a bargain, mightn't it? But it, it makes sense to wait for, for new gen. So the Series S or X. It just makes sense, doesn't it? But price is always a thing, you know. If price is no object, then yeah, get the next gen. If you're a young lad and you want it just for your bedroom, you haven't even got a 4K TV up there, the X, uh, the S is going to be lovely, isn't it? God, this is bloody stressful around here. Fuck, you know. You can't drive smoothly because things are creeping up on me. Does it strain my eyes? I'll tell you one thing that it doesn't strain your eyes so much. Obviously, it, it's a video game, so you've only got areas that are lit up because the game wants it lit up, and that's the way it's programmed. One thing that is putting me off is these um, rev lights. They're far too fucking bright. Far too bright. So up here, you know, they it's designed to be dark, isn't it?
Do you mean the Series S? I think Elvis was talking about old gen S, Xbox S, not Xbox Series S. Their naming um, procedure is fucking shit, isn't it? That's the only thing that is bullshit about Xbox. The way, na the way they name them is pathetic. Xbox S, Xbox X, Xbox Series X. It's just a joke. It's not very clear at all. And yet their project names always sound so cool. Like Project Scorpio. I know they did do a Scorpio edition, but why not just call it Scorpio? It sounds awesome, doesn't it? They was like that with their windows. Can't remember off the top of me what some of them were called, but they were named after mountains and uh, and all sorts of stuff. Way better than what they actually ended up being called. Yeah, you don't really need to, Lavelle. I mean, I haven't got a new, um, I haven't got an additional hard drive on my PlayStation. I just uninstall and install as I need to. If you've got a half decent internet, it doesn't take long anyway. And it all say it's not like a PC game where you got to worry about saves if you deleted it. It all picks up off the cloud. They did, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Loads of parents were on um, Amazon going, "Oh, I've got an Xbox X." Yeah, you really have, haven't you? You got that rammed up, you fucking sideways, sweetheart. That'll put him off a bit. <laughs> Pull over! Oh, <laughs> Python, we've got to slow down! No, I'm just joking. Actually, I thought that was fair dinkum. Sorry, um, Python. I don't really have favourite games, I just enjoy every fucking single game that I ever play. I haven't really got a favourite movie, I just appreciate them all. I haven't got a favourite song, because it, it, it changes, doesn't it, with your mood. See you later, Randy. It's like anything, you enjoy what you're doing at the moment. At the moment, I'm... Oh. I'm getting the platinum on Spider-Man, Miles uh, Morales, and wow, you know. Especially when you play a game deeply, you don't just pick it up for an hour and have a quick look. You know, when you are doing trophies and you're trying to complete it, then you've got to play through it again. You know, you really pick it up. What a game that is. What a, what a spectacular video game. A proper example of a, of a really action-packed, well-put-together, not the longest, but that doesn't bother me. What a fantastic video game that actually is. If you've got a, a PlayStation 5, particularly, you must uh, you must you must have a look at it. Cause it's fantastic. Changing up when you want to go down. Wow, that's weird, isn't it? That is weird. I mean, you sure you're not Australian with fair dinkum? You upside down. God, sorry, Python. I'm fucking holding him up. I'm up for one more. If you want to do one more, I won't do it in the night time because. 
It, that's fucking... <laughs> wow. You just got man food, that's alright mate. You just rest up, you'll be fine. The old open mouth? <laughs> what, what's that? That's alright Ben, they're always here mate. I haven't actually been streaming that much since, uh, since Christmas. I've been making videos and... yeah. See what the time is, half ten. Um, we might do just do a quick one. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll do one lap at the ring. Um, same cars. Yeah, we'll do one lap at the ring after this one, then that'll be it for tonight. How about that? Just one single lap. Maybe Baza, yeah, maybe. That's PC only though, isn't it? So that that fact alone would would stop me, to be honest with you. And I don't know why they're going down that route. It seems it seems silly, to be honest with you. I don't know how hard it is to actually get it working on both, but come on, you know, it needs to work for both. So many people now own more than one platform. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be. Um, it's not going to be a tough sell, but it's going to be for people that only play on PC, obviously. And people like myself that do more than one, it's like, oh. I'm going to carry on, actually. Yeah, I've raced it before, Luigi. But what about Gran Turismo, Baz? Because you said, I mean, will you play that on controller? Will you do it on a different wheel? Rev lights, fucking hell, they're so bright, aren't they? When the cheating in PC, uh, what, what do you mean? What, for racing or...? Sounds silly, but I can't wait to race Max on the old GT1 tracks. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, to think he wasn't even invented then. He he was nowhere near. Even my eldest son was just a bubba, you know. Cheating in PC racing. Um, I don't. Well, I don't know who, who cheats in PC racing and what can you do. Thank you, Jamie. Oh fuck! Oh yes. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to pit. Get me munchies. Get them to get me some M&Ms and a, a can of Coke or something. 
But look how close we are to the pits, right? So we come round here, and it's just there. But it seems to take ages for the bloody car to come round. <coughs> Thank you for coming in, everyone. I do appreciate it. Feel free to leave me a little like. We're going to have this race, top right, lap 7 out of 24. And then we're just going to have a one-lap sprint at the Nautschleifer in the same cars. And then I'm going to go to bed myself. What can you do? What, we're cheating? I don't think anyone cheats, do they? I don't know. I don't know. Bosh. I've never heard of cheating in a racing game, but I'm sure someone does it. I've got no idea. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Right, it's put a seventh now, but obviously we're swapping around. People are doing different strategies. So uh, it should get toasty now. That was close. Yeah, yeah, no, we're not going anywhere yet. Plenty of racing to be had. Thank you very much. Didn't touch her, Your Honour. <laughs> All right, gamer. <laughs> He's a great guy. Just an alright gamer. No, you're right. You're right. I don't mind that. I'm an alright gamer. No, I'm happy with that description. Seriously. I'm, I'm happy. I've got no problem with being an alright gamer. We've got Python and Rusty in the pits. Will I... Will I get round there in time? No, Rusty's already out. I might get Python. Yes, I've nicked it back off a of Python. So that's why I love these longer races where there's pitting involved because it just hopefully makes it interesting. It keeps um, the positions swapping around. It's cool. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Like I say, I shall watch that back tomorrow while I'm having me, uh, me wheat a bix. What this track? I be for this is Australia. Yeah, it meant to be um, February, I think. No, I know you're only playing, Ben. It's all good. I've got a thick skin. I couldn't have a laugh. It's all good. But you are right. An alright gamer is, is not a problem. I'm not really expert in anything, am I? I just like to come on and have a good time. God, this is hard at night. And it seems to be really slow as well. It's only lap 9, bloody hell. Still we're 5th though, it's all good. I shall definitely give ACC a go, I mean there's no there's no doubt about that. Or oh, another go, as I should say. <laughs> I don't know, uh, Brighton, you, you seem to be, uh, maybe come on Eileen? I don't know.
Yeah, but motorbike games, they're hard, aren't they? I've tried them. I think I'll give up with them, to be honest with you. Oh, that's nice, Lee. Well, that's why I come on, George. You know, I've got no ulterior motives for being here other than to enjoy gaming and just have a nice evening. There's no, there's no motives. No, that's it. That's why I, you know, I don't have a schedule because if I don't fancy playing something, I just simply don't. I play something that I do fancy because I'm not here for any other reason other than to have a nice time. Nearly, f well, just. Just around five years now we've been doing this. Oh, absolutely, Beard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll join you. I'll get another server as well. Oh, no, actually. No, hang on. Uh, no, I think they're including um, hosting in the new PlayStation 5 version, aren't they? Yeah, I think they are, which would be nice. Which is a bit of a piss take, because you can't host on the PC. You have to buy a server, as you do now. Um, so, yeah. God, that's really dark down there, isn't it? Where's my dog? She's just laying over the other side of the room. Yeah, I have done Lance. I've done loads of uh, Ride 4. Done a full review and um, some streams as well. If you just search the channel for Ride 4, you'll find it. And yes, there is carnage. A couple of good races in the community, actually. It's putting me fourth. On bikes, I mean. A couple of good bike races. But I have trouble with it. Still got the inside line, so nice move. Ouch. Hello, nineteen, how are you? Adrian, how are you? Yeah, I like the Isle of Man TT actually, I streamed that as well, that, that had such a feeling of speed, but um, yeah, it's good. I think you need a lot of time and commitment to, um, to get good at bike racing games. I mean, I ride a bike, I've always had bikes, but that doesn't, that doesn't help on a racing game, it is a video game, isn't it? Whereas if you have, if you've got an interest in cars in real life, um, that can help you understand sim racing a little bit more like there is a stream on the channel of me taking my car around Brands Hatch and the skills I wouldn't say they transfer but the understanding transfers but on bike I mean it's a video game you know it doesn't it doesn't make any difference if you're a bike rider or not it is pure video game control how can you portray a motorbike a fucking fast motorbike through um, a controller. You can't. You can't. But sim racing is a little bit different. It does... I wouldn't say the skills transfer, but the f sort of faults transfer. The understanding transfers. Their yeah, ports are normally end up good, but there's always issues to start with, aren't there, Beard? Yeah, exactly, Pug, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you are interested, there is a video, it's called um, IRL, in real life, uh, IRL stream from Brands Hatch. Where I do a stream and take you around uh, Brands Hatch in my car. See you later, Heavy. Yeah, catch up with sleep, mate. It's important, isn't it? 
Member stream tomorrow night, yeah. Yeah, the racing line on a bike, although not completely different, it is, it's different, isn't it? It's really hard. I mean, they've done well. Don't get me wrong, Ride 4 is as close as you're going to get. It, it's great. It looks fantastic. And I used to love um, racing the older bikes. But it's um, it's not something I could grasp. I couldn't get very good at it. And, I, and the, half of the problem was I wanted to do the um, first-person view. Yeah, ETS, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. I wanted to do first person because it just looks so fucking cool, but it's really hard. Really hard. Back up to fourth. No, fifth. Yeah, I did put a vote out for um, a Zoom meeting, um, chat, or trucking. They said trucking, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, have you seen? Oh, nice. Lovely track, isn't it? Yeah, lovely track. Got a lot of affection for Brands Hatch. There's an old film, the old guys will know the film I'm talking about, maybe. Um, it's got David Essex in it. It's called Silver Dream Racer. It's a bit of a cheesy bike racing film, but it's set at Brands Hatch, and it shows you a little bit about how, if you just watch the film, it obviously captures Brands Hatch at a certain time. And I think F1 was going on around the same sort of era that this was filmed. And it's really, really interesting. Really good so if you haven't already seen it it's called Silver Dream Racer if you like um, you know cheesy bike racing films most importantly just to get a glimpse of Brands Hatch as it was it's really good yes crazy yeah yeah it's actually a good film I, I like I like the film did you think the elevation in Brands was more uh, um, in life than... Go yeah, God, that first corner is like a roller coaster. It, 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 it's proper steep down. And then because you've got that sort of G-force pushing you up the hill. Um, yeah, it's uh, it was way more in real life. Way more. Where's the video of you robbing Barclays of pair of tights? Uh, George, that was a video... What's the VR bank robbing game called? I did a I did a game I did a just a cheeky news video. Uh, what was it called? What's the VR game where you're like a bank robber? Um, yeah, it was for that. It's on the channel. Uh, it's a proper indie film, Ben. It wasn't on major release. Yeah, yeah, definitely Beard, yeah. But nothing prepares you for that first drop on T1 of Brands Hatch when you actually either see it in real life um, or, even better, um, drive down it. I mean, in that video, I nearly lost it there for a second, <laughs> which would have been embarrassing, wouldn't it? I've got a picture up on my wall, actually. Um, my son, because um, they take pictures there, and then they post them on their website, and uh, I've got one made into a canvas. Pretty good picture, actually. Uh, London Heist? Uh, that doesn't ring a bell. No, no. No, it's a PC game that they um, they updated to be VR, and I just made a little cheeky video on it. And I saw my wife's tights laying there, and I thought, oh, I'll have them.
I mean, from a game point of view, yeah, I really hope that we can race all tracks uh, and do the whole lot in VR. But from a channel point of view, I don't really care, to be honest with you. I'll probably play most of it in 2D. I'll do the odd stream in VR, but I like to be able to see you. Um, yeah. 1.3. I'm going to go for one more. It's going to be tight, but I'm going to go for one more. I think it'll help me. <laughs> yeah, definitely, Chris. I'm, I'm deliberately watching it. If I squeeze this one out, then it might be all right to to go to the end. Then <laughs> better get dressed. You know what I mean? If I see that, if I see that monitor um, on its side, it's, it's a 24-inch or 28-inch monitor in portrait mode. When I see that chat, that's you. And when I put the headset on, I can't really see that. And uh, it, it just, it ruins it for me. That would be good beard, yeah, that would be good. That would be best case scenario. Because then I can do the odd race in VR and most of it in 2D. Oh, Glenn. This has been harder than I thought, because it's really dark in... in some parts. Well, Ben, it's only got one track record, isn't it? It's not like it's had a, a, a rocky pass. It's just had, it's just had one. And even if you pick, say, um, even if you pick five of the best titles, I think it would still make that purchase of a VR headset for your um, PlayStation worthwhile. Yeah. I don't think it was a dodgy track record. Um, it just didn't do what people thought it would do. Like I'm, I'm already seeing comments like, "Oh my God, oh this is going to revolutionise VR. It's going to make it mainstream." They're all exact carbon copies of the comments that we all made around this VR PlayStation VR. So hopefully it'll do it. It's got more power now, so and that's what the other one was lacking. So. <laughs> this is a fucking ri yeah, of course, because you didn't see the voice, did you, on the intro? <laughs> yeah, I had fun making that. I was on my own, and uh, everyone at work got the tights put over there. Got my old fucking jacket up there. Got a toy gun. <laughs> but why? What? I be for sorry. What? I'm missing it. Are you in the lobby? Um, am I in the lobby? Yes, yeah, Stephen. Yeah. Yes, I don't know if I'd agree with you on that, Ben. That it hasn't got a good VR track record. I mean, it's the only one to try it so far, isn't it? It was the only one brave enough to do it, really. Xbox wasn't interested in doing it at all, and probably still isn't. But why? But why? Where's the rum? I think this v this generation of VR, certainly on the PlayStation VR anyway, can be summed up with some really good experiences, lots of silly um, wave-based shooters, and lots of jumping around that just doesn't need to be doing. Almost like they want you to have the Wii U experience or the Wii experience um, with that strapped to your head. But there are some really good games on it. I mean, you only have to look at Resident Evil. Oh my God. You know, Resident Evil in VR. Whew. It's it's almost worth it just for that purchase alone, really. You know, like I say, you get five really good titles, and that's it. You've sort of got your money's worth out of it. Yeah, I like the connect. Uh, connect. Yeah, I liked it. I used to turn uh, Xbox on, Xbox pause. I used to use it. I actually used it, and I had a fitness game as well, like a um, like a um, not like a like a boxer size thing. Yeah, I used to like it. And the kids had a dancing game on there. 
uh, me and Max, when he was really tiny, I had um, the Disneyland game on there. We used to play that a lot, actually. That was really good. Stand up in front of the tally together, jumping about and all that. See, they're great experiences, but you don't want to do that with a VR headset on your head. I certainly don't, anyway. I like the more grown-up aspect of VR, the seated experiences, like uh, like Elite, like um, Flight Sim, you know, all, all that sort of stuff. <coughs> Alright, lap 17, we're sixth at the moment, Rusty's third. TTV, he seems to be pretty good. Was there that little hack you could put your... Was it a camera phone? You, you used to put the connect on and then with the camera phone it would show up all the green um, dots. I can't remember what that was, but that was pretty good. In fact, my connect is still connected. Um, just sitting below the TV. It's not even plugged in now, though. It's still, it's still sitting below the TV. What about real sport? I think they did the right thing to start off with by including it, whether you brought, whether you wanted or not. It was included, so en you ended up doing it and just using it for um, the control gestures. That was great. Yeah, of course, Chris. Yeah. Sometimes it's um, it's real hit and miss, isn't it? what actually um, becomes a hit and you think to yourself, well that was pretty good, why didn't that work? Yeah, of course there was the original Connect as well, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't just the Xbox One, was it? Oh, actually, I might be getting that wrong. Maybe it was the original Connect that me and Max used to play the Disney game on. Maybe not the Xbox One, actually. I think that might have been the 360. Yeah, shows how long ago that was, when he was tiny. <laughs> yeah, they had one on the 360, didn't they? Did they, or am I making that up? Yeah, they definitely did. And I think it was white as well. Hmm. Well, for obvious reasons, because the 360 was, wasn't it? Who had the, um, the DVD player? Uh, what were they called? Blu-ray and HD DVDs. God, I've got, I've got about a fucking hundred of them in my loft. I, I can't bear to chuck them out, though. And they're not worth anything. I think Blu-ray was always going to win that war, wasn't it? was my first experience of uh, sort of high resolution movies was HD DVD it was cool back in the day yeah how are you Eris yeah they will be one day yeah yeah I've still got the little DVD player that used to plug into your Xbox and all the HD DVDs I've definitely got about 100 I, I'll try to collect them all the same it was almost the same thing with Betamax and VHS in a way HD DVD to my eye anyway looked better than um, Blu-ray but of course Blu-ray was always going to win wasn't it always yeah burgundy case that's it a little bit smaller as well there wasn't DVD shaped 
They were smaller, yeah, burgundy, yeah. I've got a lovely collection of DVDs and Blu-rays in, in the loft, but I just you just don't need them, do you? You just do not need them. You put Netflix on, you put Prime. There's absolutely no need to buy a DVD these days, is there? I've collected them for years. Does anyone remember when DVDs first come out? They didn't have like the standard, what you would call maybe like a jewel case. Um, they were in like a like a like a much taller and thinner sort of almost like a glass plastic see-through case does anyone remember that really nice um, a nice sort of form factor to they were a lot thinner than the DVD case um, taller and they were almost they were made of plastic the entire thing hard plastic um, yeah does anyone does anyone remember that I've got loads of them up there bad boys bad boys that's um, that's on that sort of case. It is beard, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, though, there was something nice about going to HMV, especially when they did their... I can't remember what it was. Four for, four for 20? Three for 20, you'd go in there, and that would be, uh, that'd be quite a nice little treat, wouldn't it? Three or four DVDs. No, not VHS, although I was all over VHS. I used to love the eject system on the um, VHS players or the, the movie players, especially like the top loaders, because you'd have the Matsui front loader, wouldn't you? That's where it all went in the end, front loading. But the the real early ones used to have be like, almost like a hi-fi center of like this sort of silver and wood um, with a top eject system. Oh, I always, always looked so... Um, so complex. Oh shit. Don't read chat when you're doing that. Fuck. Come on, we're still fifth. Who's that behind me? Marzi. And I'm damaged for a little bit. Oh god, how many times was the DVD late though at Blockbuster? All the bloody time. Then it'd go two nights, then it'd go three nights, and you think, fuck me, I could have bought it for that. I still think Blockbuster was pretty much just an excuse to be a sweet shop, because you used to go in there, didn't you? Get the big bags of popcorn and that. Big bag of fucking revels. Bastard bag of Maltesers. I think it's pretty much a sweet shop, sweet shop, but with DVDs. Free for a tenner, yeah, yeah. CD minus R, CD plus R as well, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? It's fine. Yeah, I can do that next time, Beard. Did I do that already? Uh, did I do that? I did do that once, didn't I? Yeah, I'm sure I did do a retro stream for members. I'm sure I did. Or did I give it as a choice? Oh, it had a popcorn machine. Nice. Fuck me, it's dark up here. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. I remember my daughter when she was young, we had a, like a old fashioned, you would call it, like a TV um, and a, a video player all built in. 
and we had shit loads of D uh, Disney ones. In the end, we gave them all away. But yeah, it was yellow. It was a yellow TV with a bloody VHS in the front. Crazy. And yet now, look at what you can get on your phone. I mean, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, see you later, quick eye. I mean, you're saying that the the um, bid says physical media is nearly over, and I do agree. Do you think that goes the same for books? Do you think books are nearly over? See, I, I think that books will always be a... I really do. Even though I've got a Kindle for Christmas and I'm really enjoying reading on the Kindle, there's still something about having that book, the weight of the book. And a bookmark. There's something about a bookmark as well, isn't there? Do you think that books are on the way out as well? I think books stand a better chance than movies and, and games for physical media. I'm not saying they're gonna... they are gonna survive, but I think books have got a better chance. Yeah, take a hundred books. Oh yeah, yeah, you don't have to sell me the advantages, I totally understand. But also there's something about just having a book, isn't there? But the thing is, like we like DVDs, I've brought a shitload of books and they are quite the fucking lump, aren't they, to store? Especially if you think, I mean, I don't know about you, but I like, I, I read books more than once. My wife wouldn't entertain reading a book a second time, but I like it. I don't, I've got no problem with it. Yeah, books have stood the test of time. Yeah, there's a, there's a market for them, isn't there? But if you're not going to read it again, it's quite the fucking lump, isn't it? To either store in the loft, in the cupboard, in the wardrobe. <laughs> They're just not needed in a way, are they? I suppose that's also, that's us talking, isn't it, our generation. What about, say, Max's generation? Has he, has he got that emotional attach attachment to things like books? You know, maybe that generation would just go, in a second, we don't need books, they're, they're useless, you know? We've uh, grown up with books, haven't we? Two more laps. I think I might have to pit. Oh yeah, I mean I've got a I've got a line here, but there's no phone plugged in. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it, Carl? When you think back, how the landline was, God, it was so important, wasn't it? I remember when we first got our phone installed. I mean, we was late to the game because I was pretty poor, but I remember ringing my mate up. And just, just talking. Oh, I, oh, this is cool. What should we? I always remember the conversation. What should we talk about now? I remember saying those words. What should we talk about now? Funny, isn't it? I think we literally spoke about gaming because he had a spectrum. <laughs> oh shit. And I remember it, I mean, not my generation, people, the, the generation older than me, used to have, like, there was a whole industry of, like, um, what would you call them? Uh, TV seats that used to sit in the hallway, where your phone would be, like, on a little ledge, and they would actually come as, like, an item of furniture. How weird is that? That, you know, something as, something like the phone, used to actually have furniture that you could buy to go alongside it and now it sits in your pocket and you can take it anywhere crazy isn't it yeah a little um, TV 
uh, sorry, a phone like bench thing in the hallway. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna have to pit. It's fine, there's a big gap behind me. I should keep sick from this one. Uh, yeah, I will take tyres just for the fucking sake of it. I don't think I've I don't think I've got the attention span to listen to an audio book. I will try it actually. Don't think I have. I'll, I'll just be thinking. Shush! I'm thinking. <laughs> and they read it too slow as well because they're you know uh, uh, what's his name? Um, oh god, I can't think of his name. Uh, the one they always get to. Um, can't remember his name. They talk so slow and... No, fucking speed up. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I remember my nan had, um, yeah, the old... I can hear the noise. And the ring. Quite an urgent ring, wasn't it? It wasn't a pleasant ring. It was like... Come on, you know, this is important. This is the phone of all things. Um, yeah, it wasn't like today's sort of pleasant, you can put music on there, you can put... It was like a proper urgent, come on, this is the phone, you need to answer it. This is going to be important. Oh, nice, Michael, nice. It's weird, I'm not much of a talker on the phone. I mean... I text my missus like probably like 99% of the people in this stream. I don't think I'd want to have a chat on the phone. I'd just like text and then get home, you know? Uh, right, okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's do one lap at the uh, Nautschleifer, then I'm going to go to bed. Well done. Let me just have a look, actually. That was really rude. I just passed over that. Rusty won it. Um, TTV, then we've got Ben, Python, Marzi, myself, Glenn, Chris, uh, Grape, uh, Brad, and Claim. Nice one. Claim down. All right. It's all about perception of what the value you see in things, isn't it? Some people value a book, some people, um, like, yeah, like Puck is saying there, you can actually get magazines on your tablet. I don't know whether I want to do that. Uh, if I get a magazine, I, I like to, I like to take it in the toilet. I like to read it downstairs. You know what I mean? I like to, I like to have that choice with a magazine, like a computer magazine or something. You know? I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I want it on the tablet. There's something about getting a, a computer gaming magazine. Um, yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Notch life for uh, one, one lap. Just practice. Bosh. Yeah, no worries, Ben. Thank you for a good night as well. Need Mr. Adams on there, yeah. Right, ready up. We're not even going to qualify. We're not going to do fuck all. We're just going to go. Same car. RSR. One lap sprint. Let's go. Ready up. This will look good on the old, uh, on the old race cam as well. <coughs> an adult mag oh god I mean, do, do they still even make adult mags oh, I've got no idea uh, right here we go Brad and Rusty if you ready up yeah Joe Rogan I've been watching um, I've taken a proper interest to um, Elon Musk recently I've been watching a couple of interviews he's been doing with uh, Joe Rogan very interesting man, fucking hell. Just point out that the fastest lap was as fast as the real GT3 record. What, yours, mid? Oh, nice. Haha, <laughs> Glenn, I should be. Uh, right, here we go. Let's, um, yeah. Let's ready up. Let's do this. It tons in the loft. Only the ones with me in it. Oh, I'm not going yet, don't worry.
No, George, that was, um, I did some videos when that first came out, how it played on the PlayStation, how it played on the PlayStation 4, um, etc. That's why that's on there. Right, one lap sprint. This is for the big boys. Here we go. Spectate cam will look beautiful around here. Fucked up there, Python. <laughs> yeah, I don't particularly like Teslas, uh, mainly because of the shape. I don't think the shape, I just don't really like it. But I've taken a bit of an interest in Elon Musk and some things that he's been saying, and he's very, very interesting very interesting he seems to um, he seems to have exactly what it takes it's either going to be a case of everything that he's trying to do will improve humanity because that's what he wants to do or everything he's making will come true and we'll have some sort of time travel system where we'll have to send a cyborg back in a hundred years to kill Elon Musk because his inventions have just fucked everything it's literally 50-50 <laughs> Oh, definitely, Beard. Yeah, he's talking about the uh, the brain implants to get quadriplegics standing again in in one second. Yeah. Why don't you like him? He's not really sort of unlikable, is he? He's just he's just a geezer, isn't he? I don't think he's unlikable in any way. Thank you, TTV. Thanks, mate. Hello, Race. How are you? Welcome, mate. We've had a few new people in tonight. It's been nice. Yeah, communication. Oh, you've obviously watched the uh, thing as well. Yeah. I don't want that. Do you, Beard? I don't want that. I mean, it's right what he's saying. He's saying, you know, especially in business, for, for me to communicate what I've got in my mind and it filters through my brain uh, and this big complex idea into a few sentences and then you process those sentences as well. And by the time it gets into your brain, I totally agree with that. But talking without talking and oh god it's I mean that's not what you want for the human race really is it you just don't want it I don't want that that's not the human race is it hello Scarab how are you I mean very very interesting and like he says now he said it in a few interviews you know we're pretty much cyborgs already we use our phone we're lost without our phone we're better with our phone we can do more with our phone and the interface between us and the phone is just so slow because we've got our hands and our brain where if we could move that technology into our brain somehow but we're just not designed for it are we i mean i'll, I'll have it you know i'll have it but we're just not designed for it we're not designed for it and also it will make you live forever and there is a fact that um your hands is one part of your body that never stops growing. Imagine if we live to get live forever. How fucking big your hands would be. That's one reason we can't live forever. Did you know that? Because our hands would be fucking so big. It would be crazy. You can live forever, but you need a new house for your hands. <laughs> and your nose doesn't. Exactly, exactly what we'd be. You know, you'd be able to tell how old someone is because their hands and nose would be just massive. That's why we can't live forever.
I mean, I suppose it's no different to having a pair of glasses, is it? I'm wearing glasses now. Okay, it's not an electronic item, but it, it's an item that enables you to do things better. It, it's no different, but it's just that it's that step, isn't it, of going under anaesthetic, cutting your skull, cutting a hole in your skull, and putting a little computer in there. We're not robots, are we? But I'm sure it's going to go that way. Because if they, if they put it up for sale, someone's going to do it. And he reckons it's going to make you more productive. And what he's saying is the cost of, especially if you're a business person, um, the cost of what it would cost to have this implanted, you'll earn back straight away because you'll be more productive, you'll be better at everything. So is that going to cause another another layer of society people that had enough money to jump on board with sort of cybernetics to get ahead you know so rather than just rich poor there's going to be rich poor and the cyborgs yeah i mean that's not a future i really want i don't know, i don't know anyone that really wants that future but the idea of it all sounds very good yeah imagine imagine when the um technology becomes affordable the company you work for, yeah, like Cyberpunk, yeah. The company you work for might go, right, you come and work for us, we'll cyborg the shit out of you. <laughs> we'll get you a wanking claw, right, so straight away you'll enjoy that. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get you that 2.1 brain, because you'll be able to earn us more money. <laughs> yeah, retirement age reaches 455, but fucking hands. Maybe the you know the people at the football things where they do that. Maybe they're just really old people, and you know the baseball games. I don't know. Yeah, no salt in the chat um, films. That is one rule. Especially that. I mean, Chris is a, a lovely geezer. He's been here for absolutely years. I'm sure whatever it was was a mistake. You know, you don't need to come into the chat calling people out. It's just not what we do. Mistakes happen. <laughs> yeah, I did like that about, you know, instantly learning um, language, yeah. Films, TS, you don't need to do that in, in my chat. Thank you very much, mate. Should we have one more? It's um, 11.30. Should we have one more of these? Just literally straight on. I'm up for one more if you are. Do you want one more, Rusty? Do you want one more? Yeah, absolutely no sort, especially swearing and then all that. I just don't need it. That's not how you build a community race, is it? Right, should we have one more? Are you, I mean, I'm happy to go if everyone's going to come out, or we can have one more. I don't mind. They're pretty quick, aren't they? They're only seven minutes. Let's do it. Uh, right, let's go again. Yeah, do one more. Fuck it. Right, let's get that. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, no worries, Rusty. All good, mate. All good. Rusty is a very decent driver. He's not like his game at, uh, name at all. He's definitely not Rusty. He's well lubed. I don't know how big his hands are, though. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's it. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Right. Uh, uh, where am I? Where am I? I'm up the front. Oh, fuck. I'm up the front. <coughs> right, I'm going for it this time. Bosh. It's like any interview he does, um, Elon Musk, he seems to know about the subject. I don't know where he gets his knowledge from. He knows all about HTC Vive and, and VR and gaming and all that, and he's got he's got opinions on the whole thing. It's really interesting, actually. 
he basically says, as we probably know anyway, that gaming will just become indistinguishable from, from real life. <laughs> if I had um, a superpower, it'd be something sexual. <laughs> you know, everyone goes, oh, I want to fly. No, nah, it would be the Finger Blaster 5000 or, um, yeah, it'd be something sexual. <laughs> that no one else has got. Come on, I'm honest. At least I'm like, oh, oh, I'd like to fl fly like the birds. Fuck off. Oh, fuck it now. He is a genius. Yeah, he's a literal genius. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd like super... P fuck off. Yeah, he had a lot to say on that as well, didn't he? What I like to, I like the fact that he said, um, they said, do you think life's poss you know, is this possibly a simulator sitting here? And he said, um, if it is, imagine how boring, wherever we are, wherever we're sitting, if this is a simulation and we've put, say, a headset on, um, Imagine how boring that life is, because he, he gave the analogy that, you know, in an action film, it's really boring to film, and it's not until you get that edit, it can take like two months, two years to make a film, and then that film becomes like an hour and a half extravaganza. And he's saying, imagine, like, we think this is boring sometimes, life and the drudge of it. If it is a simulation, can you imagine how boring? the real world is wherever we're sitting right now and we put a headset on to experience this life imagine how boring it is because we go through the mundane parts of life don't we you know cooking cleaning and all that yeah it's quite interesting <laughs> super soaker <laughs> super soaker 5000 <laughs> yeah that's what i'd be is it a bird is it a plane no it's super soaker <laughs> Definitely bug. No, I don't think anyone's in control, no. No. I don't think we're in a simulation, personally. That's not what I think. <gasps> Back off. I'm not a big conspiracist theory. I, you know, I, I, I read them all, I know what's going on, but I don't really buy into that, um, you know, one person sitting there fucking ruling everything. It, life's too, it's too, too hectic. One person or one set of people can't control this, can they? I just can't. It's too much. Maybe many years ago, maybe, but with how connected we are, and I just don't think it's possible that there is a set of people um, sitting in a room somewhere making the bigger plan and you know controlling it out. I just, I just don't see it. I don't think it's. I don't think it's possible in this day and age. Like I say, maybe 60s, 70s, maybe. People were more gullible, life was a lot simpler. Look at what we've got today, it's just not possible. So for all this Illuminati, I mean, I don't know, don't know. <laughs> New World Order, yeah. You've been reading the internet, haven't you? New World Order, my arse. <laughs> Soaking those women properly. With skills only the standard man could wish for. Oh my god, it's Super Soaker! <laughs> I mean, I've got no doubt that Covid was m possibly, probably, um, some kind of man-made 
laboratory experiment gone wrong, yeah. But what's happened isn't a man-made thing. That's just fucking... Just human beings trying to fucking survive, isn't it? The money side, yeah. I mean, there, there are some weird facts, aren't there, about the fact that, you know, like... What is it? I'm making this fact up. But, it, you know, something like 5% of the population own... 95% of the money, you know, that's a made up fact, but you know, you know what I mean There's, it's around that sort of figure isn't it, which is crazy it is crazy Super Soaker oh my god, I wonder what uniform I'd have, it'd have to be something you know water resistant or liquid resistant, shall we say But yeah, the money side is, uh, or, or I don't think controlled, it's definitely steered by people. And that's the stock market, isn't it? Crooks. Oh yeah, definitely come out of uh, someone's lab. But I don't think the, the fallout from that was planned. That's just, you know, people just trying to do their best, isn't it? Hello, Dale, how are you? God, we, I tell you what, we always have a bloody good chat, don't we? We do. You, you can't beat it here, can you? I love the way that... And it's not me. It, it's you. The fact that we bounce off of each other. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right, that is it, everyone. Um, well done, Python. Thank you very much, everyone. I will be back uh, tomorrow night for the member stream. I might stream during the day, but I do want to do some decorating tomorrow. Um, but thank you for the day. We've done probably about, what, six hours of Gran Turismo? Uh, today. Enjoy the rest of your night. See you next time.